What's happening, lads? Just before we kick this week's episode off, just to remind you, my tour runs all the way through until the end of May, and I've still got some really big shows coming up, including Cardiff, Blackpool, Leeds, Huddersfield, York, and, of course, Liverpool at the m and Bank Arena. They're not the only dates, though. Go and check them all out. Full listings at adamrow.co.uk forward slash tour and help bring home the biggest tour I've ever done. It's been an absolute dream, and I'm so excited for the rest of the schedule. Dan? If you want to see me live this year, DanNightingale.com. I'm doing Dan Nightingale and Fiend shows all around the country. They go from March right through to November. Some of my very funny mates and me on stage, you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be mayhem. DanNightingale.com for those. But we've got to tell you before we start today's episode about our Patreon, the biggest patron in the UK, one of the biggest in the world for a fucking reason. Patreon.com slash have a word pod options to sign up for three, five or 10 quid. But even if you just take the three quid option, you get all the bonus content we put out. And that includes early access to these public episodes, a bonus episode every single week and access to the specials where we release one a month and they could be absolutely anything. We took the whole team to Nashville and we filmed all that. That was a full three parter. We've been to Amsterdam. We've done ghost hunts. We've done lock-ins in here where we've got rotten drunk and the entire back catalogue of all of that. You get all of it immediately when you sign up at patreon.com slash have a word pod. If you love this podcast, you will love being a Patreon. People don't leave once they start. It's the best place to be. You get the best content. You get the naughtiest content. Those patron exclusive every week. They've been naughty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> patreon.com slash have a word pod. Also, enjoy like the, the episode. Like the video as well and subscribe yeah, yeah, yeah. and ring the bell and all that. all that. Helps us cost you nothing. Get on me. No, I mean. Wag wag leads, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game from the heart of Liverpool with Adam, Dan, Sensei Carl, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best product on the market for below the waist groom. Go, Ed, get on me. <sighs> Podcasters, unite. Have you been a uh, cold plunging still? Now, funny you should say that. I've gone the longest without doing it because I bought a chill unit that filters the water, reduces the temperature. I have upgraded. Right. So I'm now, but I'm so non-technical and I had the kids at the weekend so I couldn't do it. I should have done it yesterday, but I was writing new material because I had a new material gig last night back in the game. So I've been putting it to the side and I've missed it. So I've gone four days without a cold plunge and I do miss it. Uh, when I link this all up, I will have a pretty fucking nice cold plunge, a, like a pro ice bath recovery that is linked up to a chiller that will keep it at like one one degree Celsius, which is going to be oh. great in the summer. Uh, but I need to fix it. And I'm a spanner when it comes to this sort of thing. So I'm worried I'm going to break it. Yeah, But I have missed it. Yeah. Have you started? No. Oh. But I am about to. Uh, cool. Carl's bought a bike and then it's I've sort of realised that like it's not that long until we go to India <clears throat> so I'm going to have to start training and uh, I think it's time to get shredded to get in the shape of my life you know right yeah, yeah. I haven't ran for two weeks because of my chest infection Yeah. and uh, I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow morning back in uh, the game well you said you'd finish the, do the marathon I yeah. know you didn't finish but you've that is done now. Yeah. You said you'd get on a bike. Yeah. So are you now linking that up with like ice ice bath recovery? I was just wondering because I uh, you you were coming in when you were doing your ice baths and you were like, hey! And then when you started then, you were doing like a fake version of that. And I just I I knew you'd stopped. Oh. Yeah, you're a yeah. professional. Am I you haven't got as much zip. You never you, stick to your word lo- and stuff. Have I lost my zip? No. You're a bit of a bitch. Doesn't, does he? No. The yep. thing is, if there were other people's ice plunges around, I'd be in them. But it loses all appeal <laughs> when it's mine. Um, yeah, I think uh, I also am going to sign up for the Berlin Marathon at the end of September. So I need to be running and biking. It's what we all need. It's what, <laughs> what we want. It's what we want. Hmm. But, uh, I, d- I don't know if it's, it I don't know if it's just going to shred. What? I think it's going to do your mental health a lot of good. And I think for inflammation, I can testify that it's good. There Very is positive. no uh, but more I don't know efficient if way to back. strip fat off your body than getting into cold water. Right, but we are going into the summer, so how are you going to keep it cold? Because I know how I'm keeping it cold. The Mayo Master, Mayo Put it chill. in the fridge. Ice. The, put it in the what? Put the water in the fridge. Put the water in the fridge. That's clever. <laughs> I said the special needs kid. No, like six or seven bottles, poured it in, bash, yeah. you're done. 
Off you go. Right. And every day, and then every day you empty it into the w- bottles again, uh, back in the fridge. Do you know yeah. what I do? Well. I turn the fridge on its side, fill that up with water. <laughs> You're going to do better. <laughs> Apparently, that's basically the fucking East European version of ice plunge. You just get a chest freezer, put the water in, plug it in, and then unplug it before you get in. You don't want to get into a, a plugged in ice plunge. Apparently it works great. So listen, I'm looking forward to hearing you about your journey. Couldn't you just put like six bags of ice in there for like an hour? Yeah. Right. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. That will cool it down. But it's not. It's a. It's a. It's 120 liters of water. That'll do so much. And also, that's a fucking total ball lake, like, isn't it? Getting up at whatever time you get up, then putting loads of ice in. It's just faff. Where are you keeping the ice? You're going to do an ice run every time. It's a, just how much a ball was your like. The best day ever was that when it was minus two well, overnight. Why don't you just get in it when it's a bit warm? Like yeah. in the summer, just leave it, let it get a little bit warm. Yeah. Get a nap, be nicer anyway. Bit just of Legionnaires, a... bit of algae. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're there with the tadpoles. It's not going to be as good, is it? I... Oh. So when you get in it and it's like 0.5 degrees Celsius, you feel your balls disappear. You feel the pain. It's weirdly enjoyable after a while. And then as you get out, your skin sort of burns a bit and you feel elated. When it's nine, it's like 10 running. degrees... When it's nine, ten degrees, you go, ah, oh, yeah, that's cool, and you don't get the same kick. Yeah, it's like a, you know. I was joking, by the way. I was. Oh, I was right. You were just getting a cold bath. I don't joke about cold plunge, bro. What? Just run the cold tap and get in the bath. Yeah, you could do that. It's not. It's not as fun for the podcast. I just noticed, Adam, <laughs> if you're doing Berlin Marathon, yeah, if you make the short trip to Munich, it's also Oktoberfest while it's. What? So you can train the for the <laughs> marathon. Train for both. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, I'm like, running a marathon and I'm doing Oktoberfest. In a warm bath. Why don't we all go and do Oktoberfest as a special? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing warm plunges. I was counting down three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, why don't we do Oktoberfest in Florida? There you go. That's the one, isn't it? In yeah. September? Yeah. That's the best one. No, that's in October. Oh, is that, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I owe myself a marathon, basically. And uh, on top of that, we do need to train for India. So no, you owe to... us a marathon. Never mind you. you We've had to fucking listen to you bang on about marathons. I want a marathon. <laughs> we all want a marathon. I've barely mentioned it. 200,000 <laughs> <laughs> 200, people want a marathon or to never hear the word marathon ever again. Marathon, 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 marathon. Snickers. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Manama. The capital of Bahrain. Manama. Marathon. <laughs> um, so listen, do it. I think you should maybe do the Bangkok marathon. I've put 1.8 kilograms back on. Oh, shit. Yeah. You European fatty. Me, me, me lowest I got to was uh, <laughs> 87 <laughs> kilograms. I weighed myself this morning, 88.8. So that needs to stop, doesn't it? That's oh, the wrong direction. You're on the fucking slide there. That's like 4.1 pounds, that. Wait, wait, that wait, wait till you're doing warm bath plunges. That'll mm. really help. Oh. You're shredded. No, you put, you maybe get a bit warmer. Put like a bath bomb in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it nice, you know? <laughs> Wash your balls. A little chanduk. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Are you doing cold plunging, lad? No, I'm doing baths. We used to go to duck, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got my Nashville duck. I misheard that. I thought you said chan duck. You and did? I thought it was some sort of Chinese you duck. You did say chan duck? Oh, I've missed that. So I've got a rubber duck for the bath that is, uh, it, it's it's Chandler's head on a rubber duck. <laughs> so it's me chan duck. This is chan duck. Okay. That's where the Bangkok marathon I starts. I Asian duck. <laughs> Where's the shop again? What? Where do we go? Where's that shop? I'm sure them. Oh, yeah. Ducks, ducks, ducks. Yeah. In the duck, duck. The duck district. In the, the duck. <laughs> I, uh, it was, that's a big thing, isn't it? Yeah. The rubber ducks. Yeah. I've still got my Nashville one that we all won. Yeah. But you oh, the, in the, in the, the tavern. Swear to God. Can't wait to be back there, you know. We go to New York, like, tomorrow, by the way. Yeah, no, I'll keep forgetting. <laughs> when do you actually go? Three weeks. Because that's the not Second out. of May. Three weeks. Three weeks, tomorrow. Oh, you're missing my next gig again. What? Oh, wow. no. Should we, should, we leave? should we see if we can get a refund? You should. Oh, no, it's non-refundable. It was refundable. That stopped yesterday. Yeah. Oh. Ask Schultz if he'll move Madison Square Garden. Ah, uh, yeah. He will. He will. Uh, we got when is it? What date is it? What, 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 when's your gig and where is it? The 5th. Where? It's, I'm not actually sure yet. It's Sound City, which is a festival. I've not, It's not been announced Oh, yet. I did the comedy tent at Sound City a few years ago. Absolute yeah. dog shit. You'll have fun now. <laughs> yeah. No one goes. There's some decent access here. Is there? The yeah. Cribs are on when I was on. I mean, they're great. That's good. Yeah. Jamie's doing with the Raytons and um, Red, Rum. Red Rum in Sefton the park. park not yeah. by ours. Sefton Park. I live in Eighton, but it's the park. Sefton Park. 
Uh, who's the headline? Is it Sound City? Uh, it is the Snuts. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to New York. Oh. Cancel it. The Snuts and Finn. Oh. I'm pretty sure they've just had a number one album, guys. So. Uh, yeah, in Iceland. Yeah, in Iceland. <laughs> oh my Are they god. Scouse? No, Scottish. <coughs> Uh, the, snuts, there, the snuts are the snooze Scotland playing. Is. The snooze, yeah. Uh, Brooke Holmes on. Oh, we know. Uh, Great. Who? Brooke Holmes. Brooke Holmes, Luke's sister. <laughs> oh, brilliant. She's the girl who sings with Jimmy. Is Tommy Welps playing? Ooh. What about Jimmy so, Nibbles? Jimmy Nibbles is on. Nice. Headlining? He, he, no, second. Ah, he's, he's not quite. Who else headline. have we got in the lineup? Um, I can't actually remember. But it's a good, it's good. You've got Google, haven't you? Okay, you remember the snuts, in. but you don't. I've not been announced yet, so I don't know if it's the final. <gasps> Maybe you're the secret guest. Oh. Um, He'll never list them. So yeah. secret he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's not on. Very uh, special guest. Finley K. Katie Baser. I don't know Katie, Katie Baser. Baser. Yeah. Whoa. No, I've never heard of her. Who no. else? Casino, who we played last week. Oh, oh we, we like know. Casino. Yeah. Well, like, There's a like lot the of bands that we've had, that we've played, to be fair. That's class. Well done, Finn. That, Adam, you'll never guess. I won't we, know. We can't go. We cannot go. Cancel your plans, because who's playing? Spider. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> no, just, there's eight of them. <laughs> Great. Nice. Is that it? Is there only Spider? Uh, there's loads of names there, but they don't want to, like, cunt anyone off, even though the cunt's Spider off. Um, what, uh, what holidays have you got planned? <laughs> <laughs> Going to Tenerife with uh, Big Lars. Oh, she got a fucking spray tan last week. Papa like that. Papa like that. Your wife? Yes, man. Like spray tan? Why did you like that? Because when she was like, "Oh, can you can see the really the tan lines," <gasps> mate, she looked like a Brazilian. You know the Brazilian tan line babs. Oh, I was into that. Did you have sex? No, she went to <laughs> York for the weekend. <laughs> what? She got a spray tan, then left the house. Yeah, went and hung, hung out with her sister. Oh, she got bladdered again. I saw. She went out and got bladdered yeah. till eight p.m. I yeah. got slag. <laughs> I think spray tans like smell weird. They smell like broken biscuits. Yeah. Yes. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Cody. They smell weird. Yeah. Women love them, but they, I don't know why they, 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 they like them so much. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't like them at all. I think they smell like korma. I, <laughs> but I like, you know, it's the pudding curry. Imagine having a biscuit korma. Come here. But, the but, pudding curry. But, yeah, it, it, Not yogurt. No, chicken korma is the pudding curry, isn't well, it? Can I have a pudding it's curry, sweetie. please? It's all, berry. It's coconut, yeah. It's it? all sugary and coconutty. <laughs> Pudding curry. Don't say it in that accent. <laughs> I'm surprised you've eaten a korma. Oh, shut up, mate. You've ever been to an Indian with me? You haven't had, you haven't had that many food for ages. You're getting it now today. Fish. Someone buy him a fish in, egg. Mate, like fish oh, bring me some Indian one. shit. Bring me some Indian shit and watch me fucking fly. It'll be long. It's a bit of November, mate. We'll be fucking providing it. Um, so she got a spray tan. And it was a tester for Tenerife. Yeah. Right? So when we went to Costa... A tester? It's cost Because it's what girls do, isn't it? I'm going to try one now. If it works, I'll get one for holiday. She's getting spray tans to go on holiday. Yeah. That's stupid, isn't that it? That is one of the most yeah. insane things but I've ever heard. But she's genetically very Scottish and doesn't tan. I just can't, bet, can't go on the beds. She, she, she used to go on the beds, but now she's got a bit of health anxiety, so she can't do that. And when we've been abroad, she just goes pink, a little bit pinker and then there's more freckles. She doesn't, she's not going to go away to Tenerife and look tanned uh, and come back looking tanned. So she did the spray tan. Make her bundle look. I loved it. It's so good. It, I just think it's very sexy. When did you it see is it? just very low when she level. Flash me a biff. It was like, hey, look at that. Did she? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make her pussy invit- look pinker. That's is an invitation. Oh, white. Hang on. She flashed you a biff and then went to York. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Am I having a hard marriage? That's here? Our it's it's like fucking hard work, isn't it? She's like, hey, what do I look like in this? Great. See ya. I'll have the kids for the weekend. Fucking hell. Isn't spray tanning just very low level blacking up though? Isn't it problematic? I think that's why she likes it. Yeah, but have isn't I talked it like, about how it, racist it my wife is? It yeah. is though, isn't it? I don't look like this. I want to look like a different race. Yeah. yeah. There's some celebrities that have taken it too far in the past. Ariana Grande was the worst yeah. offender. She of was that. a different. She was literally. It was I thought, bad. Yeah. I thought Ariana Grande was mixed race. She's no, very, very she is white. So white, it's insane. Are you fucking kidding me? No. no. <laughs> my gal's just been She's having spray tan. Very white. That wasn't real. Oh, she has got la- Latino descent, but uh, Latina, Latina descent. She's a lady, but um, no, she's got Latino disdain. She hates Latinos. <laughs> He's getting confused. Hang on, she's only got Latino. She's arm. she can have Latino descent as a lady, though, can't she? Isn't it? Yeah, but she's a she's a lady, so it's Latina. All oh, right, Latino is male. But it's, but 
for her to have descent, she's got to have some male. Depends how naughty she's been. All oh, right. So she's just been spray tanning to, been to spray be tanning. more she's Latin. Got, she's edged it a bit back a little bit. She's gone a bit Asian-y now. So yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, my wife's gone a bit Asian-y. But it is blacking up, isn't it? I think Laura's been very problematic there. She's she really is. She really is. <laughs> When she gets a biff out and I have to think, God, that's cultural appropriation. I'm just, it's such a shame, isn't it? That's what I thought the other day. Joe and Gail's get all the face done and then put makeup on. They're like, I'm ugly, so I'm going to change my face and then paint it. If men are ugly, we're just fucking ugly, aren't we? Beard. Beard. No, I know, but like still. They're like, oh, I'm going to paint my face. I'm going to get a new nose, shape that difference. We're like, that's just my head. We can do that, though. We're allowed to. It's just like everyone will call us gay, so we don't. <laughs> yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever had makeup done? Even a doctor, a bit gay. Have you ever had makeup done for a TV thing? Yeah. Do you, you have makeup done for you're TV? You're in the mirror going, oh, nice one. I look gayer, but well better. Like I don't think I look gay with makeup on. I think I look class. Really? <laughs> Even the eyelashes? Yeah. I never get my eyelashes done because I've got like uh, two things women always compliment me on when they get up close and personal. Massive oh. dick. I, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, that yeah, goes yeah. without saying. Your essential I mean? lovemaking <laughs> technique. My eyelashes and my nose. You yeah, have a little cute nose. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there's that fucking comment in TikTok. Fuck off. <laughs> if Carl gets any further up Adam's ass, he'll be able to brush his teeth. Because <laughs> I said, taking the piss, he's a marathon runner. That's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've got I wonder it. why people, like, they watch our content when clearly they really don't like one of us. You're like, we're, 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 all we're not going anywhere. This is it. If you're like, fucking all this guy's doing my head in. It's, this is the team. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this formation is good. It's going to feel very familiar. If you're like, just get that damn cunt's boring. Like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it's just get on with it. <laughs> fucking at him, bro. Leave. Shut just up. leave then. We don't want you here. You're Loads of people like all of us. Is that all right? <laughs> God, I've got an Asian wife all of a sudden. I'm dealing I with shit. I also don't mind that they all, as long as they're watching, it doesn't matter. They can eat you and still like all of us and still watch. And then one of them can eat me and like all of you. We can collect all that. They, they, they don't need to fuck off. Just let them have their little burning ball of hate <laughs> in their Mars box room and in the undies they haven't took off for a week and let them hate us. What they're doing is they're taking their skiddy little undies out on one of us. Let them have it. It's Isn't fine. It? But you, the point you, is, you'd have a better I've got time. A cute nose. You'd have a better time if you just liked all of us. It's, Cheers well, for the view. Cheers for the algorithm. Nice one for the comments. Anyway, you daft listen, we back, got money from that. We're back, we're back to Button Moon. It's a beautiful look little mouth. Oh, your eye. <laughs> it's very hard to look. <laughs> Just look at the camera. Nope. It's so hard to concentrate on the eyelash when the eye's going, fucking hell, lad, I'm working here. Oh, you're so beautiful. Look at him. He's that so was beautiful. cultural appropriation there. That much your favourite bit about you? Uh, By the way, they're not my favourite bits. What is your favourite bit about you? <laughs> Me raw sexual magnitude. <laughs> Mag magnitude. Magnitude. Not even magnetism. Ma it's the size of my, it. <laughs> my favourite bit is my raw sexual magnum that I've been keeping <laughs> up my arse. I don't know how I've stopped it melting. Cold plunging. <laughs> I thought you meant a gun. I, <laughs> Keep that cold. I have got, Whoa, and it's been commented on before, a phenomenal perineum. Yeah, women love it. The gooch. They're a very manly gooch. Soft to touch, but also... That's not manly. Like... No, but like, but Peter also... Peter Manley, the dark player. Yeah, Peter Manley. <laughs> Peter Manley, when he was licking my gooch, was like, this is a phenomenal... It's just like Peter Manley, yeah. I've got to be... I've, in my head, I was like... What I've got a to woman stop. that'd be? Who's seen his and gone, what an similar? Oh, no, it was Peter Manley. It was actually Peter Manley, Dana. Yeah. I've got is to stop getting... my arse? I've got to stop getting licked out by darts players. <laughs> what do um, you actually... What's your best feature? Um... What? It's not my forehead. I tell you that. That cunt or never stops growing. <laughs> <laughs> well, your your forehead five head goes quite far back oh, now, doesn't it? It's, it's in double digits. Yeah, um, <laughs> fourteen head. It, that started when I was about seven years old. Oh, I love it. Have you got a hairy back? Well, not anymore because I'm getting it laser therapy, don't so, I? Like if if I went all the way that way, is the first bit of hair? <laughs> it, the, His ass. It, it, the, there. All oh, right. Okay. So you've got hair here, and you don't cut that off. Yeah. Here, yeah. Did you know? I Did do. You know? I do. I do. I do zero it. Men never lose that. Men only ever lose hair at the top of the head. They never lose it around the back. Apparently, it's a different thing. Isn't so it's right? alopecia if it's gone from the back. You'll yeah. You'll never lose it for male pattern baldness. Also, Dan, you have a a, a meeting with um, a hair clinic set up. You're yeah. going to be getting a new barn at me. Well, check my Instagram at Dan has a podcast because I put some really nice mock ups up yesterday. I just want to go back to this. Do you you shave this bit though? Don't you? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Have 
Have you never known that? Wow. He'll never lose it's it. not though. anything about me. <laughs> no, I just... I He's thought, never listened. I thought that was all, like, bicked off. Well, it, it is. It, it does get like shaved that. sometimes. And then, it got, you know, I try and do it on the regs, but it's boring, isn't it? So when that is shaved, where's your next bit of hair? Uh, top of the back of my neck. Right, okay. But cool. that's, got, that's on the go now, because I go and see Abby at Luna Laser, and she fucking... And you when know? that goes, is it down by your ass? Not really a very hairy ass. Also, sometimes if hairy I'm in balls. A, uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I've got. I've got a bit of a hairy ass. So there's going to be a point in imagine, the next sort of year when your back's all lazy and done, and you've got a fresh trim where your forehead stops at your balls. Nice. That's what we were getting to. <laughs> <laughs> so you've just taken that away from me. I was like, I've got a lovely perineum. You're like, no, you're not. That's your forehead. <laughs> Keep going all the way around. You haven't got a gooch. That's just your lower forehead, your bald twat. I wondered why you were paying so much attention to me. It was just a fucking neg. <laughs> Are you excited to... I honestly, I think if I fucking, like, I've been doing a little bit of the what, the lap pull down at the gym. Oh. I think my shoulders could be bit pretty nice. Magic. I could be into my shoulders, you know. I think if I just sorted this shit out and stopped eating bread and sweets, I think this could be all quite nice. Adam's thinking about your gooch. Mm. No, no, he's not. He's, not. he's it's deep just really into funny. my gooch. The idea that you can ask any person on the planet, what's your best feature? And then, then go, oh, good shoulders. <laughs> you know what I think you have as well. Are you excited for your new air? Because you're getting it. It's happening. Mm. The wheels are turning. Uh, so, for those who don't know, Dan is uh, getting a hair transplant in Liverpool. I'm getting bullied into a hair transplant uh, in Liverpool. In Manchester, it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's You're what? Getting... I thought it was in the live building. They haven't applied. It's a Manchester company now. Fuck it's you, uh, Liverpool ones. Look, we're not bullying you into it. If you don't want this, we can discuss it. I don't want the pain. It's No, it's pain free. Yeah. Ah, is it just because you said that and you've got <laughs> no research? No, they, use <laughs> they just use Pritt sticks. Yeah. Can I get a. Uh, like a, one of them glue on wigs first and see how that feels. No, Dan, this is happening. No, I got the marketing teams already got the wheels turned. Carl, these cunts are going to staple arse hair into my head. Don't Can I just do a fucking. You haven't got a hairy ass. It's going to be ball hair. Oh, forehead. You're going to take it off your forehead. <laughs> Blow your cock. Maybe the, this is the mistake I'm making getting my back lasered. This is all potential hair. Um, Can I get the glue on wig first? No. But why? It's not fun, is it? Part of this is... Hang on, that'd be like a, why well, it looks great, and then it's worth the effort. I think we just got to go for it, you know? Yeah. Right. We? Yeah. We? <laughs> you won't even be there. They're watching, though, aren't we? Bad. I can't. It's part of the podcast, and you're a good lad. It's basically a tattoo on your head, but it's a... You're going to love it. You're going to love it, aren't you? You're going to love it. What love if I you? don't love it, and I just miss my, my gooch head? Shave it off. Right. Oh, that's an but is there going to be... Is there going to be... Thanks, Phil. You're uh, not going to not love it, though, are you? It's going to look really nice. You can have a little fucking... little short back and snides. Fucking what? Whose head, who's head do you want? What? What's your, when you look at someone's Famous hair. Morgan yeah. Freeman. I'll send, I'll, send, I'll send Carl a picture now. I'll send Carl a picture now. But uh, I, did, I, I did some fucking around on AI yesterday. and I mean, I, You look fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to send Carl the picture now. And, I saw the, uh, the you'll, 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 know, you'll notice I look like Paul Lintz. <laughs> <laughs> West Ham Paul Lintz, if you can Okey find one. Dokey. I know it's not, that's not going to be easy. So I reckon, yeah, yeah. I look like a young Paul Lintz. <laughs> or whoever Carl's being a cunt about right now. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. is Whoa. a haircut. <laughs> yeah. You look like Nicolas Cage with a shit haircut. <laughs> You're trying to get Paul Lintz's hair and your wife's trying to get his skin. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Shout out, Paul Lintz. Paul Lintz. Shout out, Paul Lintz. You're like, I'm fucking you. Uh, I'm excited. It's going to be like a, a six-week thing and then about a year's worth of growth and we're going to we're gonna track it as a community. We love you, Dan. What? The hat's going to slowly come off. Yeah. Oh. Gonna, the hair's going to push it off. God. Is this actually happening? I was sort of fucking around when I Oh, Stephen had three meetings yesterday about it. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, it's really good when he kicks it into gear, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's a Manchester-based firm. Yeah. All right. Right. Well, nice one. This is happening. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Talk. Could you just get the process up and talk me through it? So what they do is they take <laughs> hair off your bollocks. Thanks, Dr. Rowe. They staple them to your head. Nice. Sounds and great. They do you know like when you get uh, your lawn done? 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, like if your lawn's a bit patchy, yeah. it's just muddy in that. And yeah. you put a, what's the? Seed. Seed in. And you have to wait for it to like grow and then you cut it off a bit and you have to wait for it to grow again. And every time it grows, there's more of it. And you cut it and it grows and you cut it and it grows. We're putting a lawn on your head. Yeah. I don't know like, why. Like lawn you head. You've, you've done really well to sell that to me. My what appreciation of lawns. What is it? What colour is it going to be? Um, so whatever's on his bollocks. What colour are your bollocks? I'm probably braiding it multicolour. Purple. Sugar Sean O'Malley is what I'm going for. <laughs> is that fair? <laughs> Class. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to get ripped, tats. Bye bye, Laura. <laughs> She's in York anyway. She's probably gone home to India. <laughs> <laughs> uh, She's no. in the Congo blending in. <laughs> Look, are you just realising now that's actually happening? I am. I d honestly didn't. Yeah, you get it. The thing is, you can always get an haircut or just put a hat on. Yeah. You did it anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's never seen the back of your head. This is the pro <laughs> <laughs> This is the problem. You know when you've had a big forehead your whole life? Where because oh. the temptation is to just draw it down, isn't it? Where does my forehead start? They know that. Your forehead starts at your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's less because you're surprised. <laughs> no, but I mean where does the end of the when does the They know where your hairline is. Do they? Yeah, yeah. they see the follicles. Oh, do you want a fringe? Or are you saying where they're going to put your actual hairline? Where's, like, the, where's the hairline? So like my hairline, Your very normal hairline. Mine yeah. was always like an inch behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, not going to do that to your eyes. They're not going to give you the receding hair transplant. Take your hat off again. They're not going to make you look like Hector Salamanca. They're going to give, give you... Your hairline's going to be like here. Yeah. Draw it on. <laughs> where? Where? Oh, no, that's Sharpie! Oh, oh no. no. Fuck's sake. I've got school. Someone find me a felt tip. That's a felt tip? That's not a sharpie. It's, that is not a felt tip. It's not a sharpie. That is permanent. No, there's no such thing as permanent mark when it comes to your head. Oh, I've got some paint pens. <laughs> Let's find out where my stay. airline is. Did it be bag by Steve? Blue bag. Here's a, here's a little wrinkle. Um, Jack was playing the drums yesterday. I let him have a twat around on that. Uh, something's happened to my eardrum. I can't hear properly out of this ear. Might have burst her. Fucking brilliant. It feels, it feels like I'm underwater on one side. Uh, I'm under the water. Death and it's a meme. <laughs> is it? I, mean, I like, think it's Laura. It. Thank God someone knew it. <laughs> oh, that's good. You look like a imam. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Right, what colour do you want? That? Suffocation. I'll do it for you. Ah, Willie. Yeah, <laughs> Will Adam Rowe draw on my head. What have you got? Is that nunchucks? It is nunchucks. These aren't fucking permanent, are they? Paint. Right. What colour? What colour? All of them? Have you got a brown? No, no, no. No, keep those colours away from Adam Rowe. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Ooh. This one looks good. Yeah, that's probably the right one. What, what is it? It's, uh, Skin colour. Apricot. Give it a bit of a sh... Right, go on. Give it a bit of a shake. It's paint. You need to bring your fingers down, maybe like... Yeah. Right, this is what they're going to do in the hospital. Oh, that's lovely, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's about oh, right. Oh, I can see the vision. That's about right. Do you know what? He doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> yes. Right, this is fun, this. The audio listeners. Um, I'm getting hair. Adam, uh, Adam's drawing Dan's hair on. My fingers really feel like well, they're quite low down fun. here, Adam. No, that's genuinely right. Ah, Adam. Oh, this is not a, good, on, not a good sign that the pen's hurting a bit. Go on. <laughs> It's taken 10 years off you, to be fair. <laughs> you look like him. Uh, I actually didn't... think it needs to come a little bit lower. No, it, I don't feel Give like it fringe, does. Give him a fringe, Adam. I don't, f I don't feel like come it here. does. Just come here. Dan? Dan, can you look at the monitor and just see what you look like? Yeah, this is what they're going to do in the clinic. <laughs> do you like it? Do you look like a young man? You can't see it, am I? Yes, great. I can do it in black if you want no. so you can see it on that. It's only Man's paint. Got a gig tomorrow. It's paint, it'll wipe off. It w you don't know that. I do. Yeah, you happy with that? No. <laughs> no, you're not going lower. Whoa. I can see the menace in your but fucking I'm not, eyes. I'm not trying to be a dick. Honestly. He's trying to be nice. He wants you to know what you're going to look like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That makes more sense now. Yeah. It looked stupid before. Half an inch more fringe. Yeah, Beautiful. yeah, yeah. Oh my god. It actually starts to look like hair. What the fuck? Because of like the texture of the pen. Check, place that way. This is lovely, this. I hope, I, I hope you're not allergic to it. 
you give me a little bit of sidey? Yeah. <laughs> I'll open that allergic to that then. I reckon I, I could do air transplants, me, you know. If it was drawn and paint on people's heads, I reckon so as well. All right, well, if it's if that's as easy as it is, and I'm sure... It... <laughs> that, yeah. uh, do you want to take a picture of him and show him? Yeah, show me you a picture. I'm ready. Should we go for a bevy? You Where are we going for lunch? I'll not wear a hat. The middle of Liverpool one. You look. It actually looks... Have a look. Such a good picture. It actually looks good. Yeah. I'm not the butt of the joke here, am I? No. Oh, no, great. I look great. <laughs> <laughs> I look really good. Shoot me in the fucking head. What's my best feature? My new hair. <laughs> Bunch of fucking pricks. Look, that, that is... You love it, don't you? I, yeah, I love it. That is a, an unbelievable improvement. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Think unbelievable. Look at that. Right, let's go for a break and I'm washing this shit off. Lids, do us a favour, yeah? You mm. love us, don't you? Yeah. You love this podcast. That's why you're listening to it. And especially if you're watching on YouTube, helps us immeasurably. If you go and leave a comment, like, subscribe, and turn the bell on, it, it sends us through the roof with the algorithm. It costs you absolutely not on a par from half a second of your life and helps us no end. And you can follow us on socials, can't they, Dan? Do we, uh, yeah, you, uh, have a word pod. I nearly said my handle then. <laughs> uh, have a word pod. Just give us a follow and comment and don't just like something. Retweet it, share it, put it on your stories. Just be sound. Yeah, Cost nothing to be nice. you a good egg. Do you remember the rumour that Lady Gaga had a cock? Yeah, I do, yeah. Just because she had slightly manly features. No, no, no. There was a, she was playing up to it. She like had a, a, a girthy thing in her pants. No, but didn't he originally come from she looked a bit mannish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then everyone was like, have you... She got asked in interviews, like, have you got a bell end? And like, she was like... <laughs> <laughs> she just refused to answer. It was class. She was like, why is that anyone's business? John what, May was her? interviewing her. What? <laughs> John May was interviewing her. <laughs> what fucking bell end, girl? <laughs> yeah. You got a bell end. <laughs> it was the talk of high school for a few technically days. all women have yeah. got bellends clits are just little bellends aren't they they are so beautifully put that's yes. how women see them yes doctor suck bro. my lips he can't even find my little bellend <laughs> what a men like doctor row lady gaga's not super manly no, is she? she's peter manly no. <laughs> <laughs> she's not super manly she's licked my I gooch. reckon if she was super manly I think the question would have been have you got a pussy 180. Nah. <laughs> I mean, she's not as androgynous as like Billy Eilish. Oh, fuck no, off. No, no. Big old tits on here. Carl can't see past tits when it comes to. I think to be androgynous, you have to be a little bit flat chested. No. Billy Eilish has got bastards. That isn't true at all. What? But she, she's got a little bit of a boyish face. If, if, Carl. Do you not you think like see, Claire Baldwin is androgynous? Because she's got bastards and she could easily be called Graham. Billie Eilish and Claire Bolden in the same chat. Who'd have, who'd have thought? Because she's called Billy, in it? No, it's because she's got a, quite a boyish face. She's got a boyish big old pair of tits. Oh my God, Carl, okay, Carl is... I don't think Billie Eilish is androgynous. She she's, a, she's got a little bit. Nah. She's not You're the most... You're thinking most... of Claire Bolden. <laughs> <laughs> or Graham Bolden, whichever. Speaking of balls and done, the paint won't wash off, will it? <laughs> no! <laughs> Show them. <laughs> oh, it's still fully there. Oh. Can use the shower? Um, yeah. Because, there was, like there was Lady really. Gaga, like, to this day, no one really knows. <laughs> yeah, they do. No one. Yeah, they do. They no do. one really knows anything. You don't know he has got a cock. Has, hasn't got, has got a pussy. Nice. No, I don't know. I don't understand what he said, so I definitely don't know. <laughs> um, I think I think it's pretty, you know, I think we're pretty sure that she's cockless. Yeah. And good for her for being like, fuck off. Yeah. She's just like, none of your business whether I've got a bell in the mouth. <laughs> Keep my dick out of your mouth. That was yeah. at the VMAs. <laughs> none of your business whether I've got a bell in. <laughs> um, you know, you're talking about proof then. Uh, you know that uh, <laughs> Cliff fella that I watch? The religious guy. Mm, yeah. Right? Huh? I uh, I got one of his TikToks last night or the night before. He's a big lady. And uh, someone goes, "I'll believe in God if you can believe, if you can prove to me that there's a God." And he goes, "Can't prove anything. You can't prove we're having this conversation right now. Someone might have put drugs in our tea, and we might be imagining this conversation. Such a good argument, isn't it?" No. <laughs> it's a pathetic argument. It's a he's stoner been, argument. He's yeah. been done for the first time, there, hasn't he? No. He gets done regularly, and he always oh, does. does he? He's classic. He's, he slips and slides and jabs, punches them. 
Yeah. I watched uh, Louis C.K.'s new newest stand-up special last night. You've watched it, haven't you? I've oh. listened to it. And the uh, the 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 bit about the Bible and Jesus and the, the fig tree is so funny. There must be so many of those stories in the Bible. Because I didn't really... I'd never thought about this. And if you haven't watched it, by the way, you have to, you have to buy it on Louis' uh, website. Or you can listen to it on Spotify. Yeah, sure. but it's a, it's his best one since he since his uh, <laughs> problem <laughs> his problems a few years ago. Um, but he's like he's like I was raised Catholic. He's like, and they encourage you not to read the Bible. Like you go to like Catholic church and they're like, don't read that. That's how you happens. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so good. And then he's like, and it's because of the stories like this, where Jesus went up to a fig tree. And this is a real story. It's in the Bible. And there's no fruit on it because it wasn't like fruit season yet. The time of figs is not yet. Yeah. So he just kills the tree. He goes, this this tree will no longer bear fruit from now and forever. And the next day, the tree's just all wilted and dead. And all his disciples are like, what would you do that for? And he goes, I have faith in God. <laughs> That's a real story in the Bible. What? Why? The fig, tree, he... the fig tree didn't have figs because the time of figs was not yet. He yeah. was like, fuck you, you're dead. Jesus was starving. The fig tree didn't give him any figs, so he was like, bah, what? What do you mean, what? Piss. What does he do to it? <laughs> he curses it with his God powers. He curses it. Well, with I mean, powers, essentially, yeah. yeah. I'm reading the Bible, mate. Sounds like a fucking belter. Sounds I love like it Harry when Potter. he goes, the f it's, it's, it's four books of the same story. Yeah, it's the same story four <laughs> times. L Matthew's yeah. like, shut up, John. That's not what happened. This is what happened. You weren't even there. <laughs> you were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> And, and uh, the way he goes through, he's like, well, like he gets the last, like the 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 for the New Testament, and goes, this bit's about Jesus. All of this bit's just like, and then Abraham. <laughs> like, this Jews. is Jews, and this is that's class. Yeah, it's very, it's very good. Um, I do love Louis C.K. Still, it's still one of my go-to. His work. What you don't his know work. him, do you? You might have a pussy. I still love his. Uh, love, he, love that's, his that was a big rumor for a while. Louis C.K.'s got a pussy. And he got asked in interviews, have you got a pussy? And he was like, not telling you. Oh. <laughs> nice. He put an acting He on. put a voice on. <laughs> and uh, Mike Babiglia's Thank God for Jokes is also what I've been listening to on Spotify. Fucking love both of those specials. Very good. Shall we, um, Finn? Hello. Oh, Hi, Finn. Hiya. Should we do some man play? I think we should. Do you want to do some man play? Yeah. We haven't got a jingle yet. Man play, playing like a man, having fun like a man, and also women. There you go. We still haven't got one. Nice. Oh, flip it. <laughs> this first one's from Ethan. Man play here. After finishing a drink from a bottle and you can't be asked going to the bin yet, you start hitting yourself on the head with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. So you, you know, know like if I finish like, that. Do, 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 or like my arm or my leg. Yeah, yeah. I, no, most of you could just put it down on somewhere and then just wander off. I don't. I put everything in the bin. Sir. Sir, go look at my desk. No, sir. Go look at my desk. No, my sir. My desk. No, sir. What do you mean, no, sir? No, sir. My desk. Clean. What do you mean, your desk? You said it about half an hour a week. <laughs> <laughs> half an hour it's clean, though, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Everywhere else is a fucking mess because you're going around throwing bottles everywhere. <laughs> I do do this, though. Yeah, I empty them. You leave them. Yeah, yeah, sure you do. Uh, uh, no, I think that sounds mental. Twice, I don't no. think that sounds like man play. We've d we no. both we both I, do it. Adam does it. If this is the thing. Yeah, just like fucking around with a bottle because you can't find a bin. You're not going to litter, are you? Not litter box, usually. <laughs> right. Yeah. This is. I love it that you're rolling with it. You have. I have never seen you with an. Empty yeah, because he's in the. Give me that because fucking I'm, drink. Because podcast. I'm a professional. Dan, come on. You have Stop never. E drinks. No one has never ever sat in here going la 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 la. Fuck her, I can't get into this. You've never got empty drinks. You take, some, take someone else's. Nice. Yeah, well, that's why we've never got empty that. bottles because when we get to down to the last third, you just sweep them, them up. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know one that you're picking on me drinks up? You're finishing them for me? Yeah. Is it eggy between you and me, mate? <laughs> There's beef. Is it, this must be beef. Carl with a K as well, you fucking dickhead. Uh, is it Karl Marx? <laughs> Are Dan and Karl Marx beefing again? Dan hates communism. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one, this is from Luke. Dunlop. Sometimes I like to go for what I call a danger piss. This involves being too rough with your initial lift of the toilet seat to the point where it bounces off and starts falling back down. My skills have reached a point where my home toilets no longer provide the adrenaline that they once did, and so I've begun greasing the downstairs toilet. 
I particularly love the uncertainty of an away leg with my mate George's lid having a perfectly challenging pace to it. I'm currently 2-1 up at his throne with my last victory coming at the price of the lid falling on my dick during Fergie time. Falling on his dick? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he's slamming the thing up and yeah. then putting his dick in the way of the lid. Well, he's slamming his dick up and trying to have a piss before it hits him. He's talking shite. It's a quick piss, that as well. That's unbelievably quick. Like, it's slamming back down. No, but it's, I'm guessing it's one of them slow, slow close. close ones. Well, then you don't need to slam it. The slow close ones just automatically start closing. I, 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 nah. My, nah. Man, my man's a weird guy. I honestly thought danger piss was going somewhere else then. What did you think it Go was? Go down the primary school, piss Ooh. against the railings. See if I get on a list. Or go into the Australian <laughs> outback <laughs> where it's lawless and just have a piss there. It's not lawless. Yes. What? <laughs> this Australian, 2024 Australian outback is lawless. Apart well, the laws from... are ignored. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Basically, people don't care. Yeah. yeah. There's a bit of a mech that's lawless, isn't it? Like that weird strip between two states. Where is it? Is it like Oregon or something? No, I think. Oh, I know what I you think, mean. I think federal law covers all of the United States of America. Yeah, uh, yeah but it's state law, isn't it? So do you, like, yeah, so what? federal law. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's not lawless. But it's just different laws. There's no. It, you're thinking of in Seattle, where it's like uh, the police don't get involved with scraps. I mean, you could be having a scrap and the, the business is just standing there watching, like betting on it. You mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking of that, Adam, no. You mean Portland. Can you find it? Yes. Portland, Washington. Yes. No, th th there's like a weird gap. It's too small to have anything in it. It's like a, it's like a, f a wasteland between two things, and like apparently, like it's Portland. No, that he's you. You're talking about different things. I know. I remember when it's on a Tom Scott video, when the Black Lives Matter thing really kicked off, the police in 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 Portland oh, backed off yeah. massively. But he's you're talking about some weird discrepancy in state lines. What have you got? It was a, it was a Tom. What was Slab City? Yeah. Slab, slab, city, bitch. In California, I'm going think of that. I'll find it later, but it was on a Tom Scott video. Basically, just like this wasteland where it's two states meeting. You don't know whose it is. You don't know what laws actually govern this part. In yeah. Portland, but like, it's not lawless. No, but like the zip here. You can't blue. just go in there. Hey, we're in no man's land. Blow your head off. No one's coming <laughs> for me. Apparently, like 100 years ago, people would. That's where they go and do it. Yeah. Oh. Because you're like, oh, which which state's going to arrest me? Like, it's, it's like all like up yeah, yeah, in yeah. Portland, it's like if two men want to scrap, the busies won't stop them. <laughs> it basically becomes like they're basically in the UFC for a minute. It's just because that's so dangerous, man. It's like, oh, let them. No, it, no, it's just like that's how we settle things. Oh. Let's have it. <laughs> what? What have you heard? What's that? What? The busies don't stop men like settling things like men. What? If, then we're talking about different because Portland, Washington is so progressive. They basically depowered the police. It's not like old rules. Fix it like a man. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's like, though. Wow. There is a bit of America where the busies will let me... Like, if me and you come out of a bar and start punching each other's head in, they won't split it up. It's in Yellowstone. So, like, let them fight to the death. It's called the Yellowstone Zone of Death. There you go. It's a right. place in Yellowstone where there's, like, the, it's essentially lawless, but, like... That's not what I'm talking about. That's a different thing. Yeah. Anyway, Luke's weird for having his danger pisses. Yeah. Um, He's a liar. He is. <laughs> this is from... Yaku Thanks for your entry, Luke. This is from Yakubu. Man play. I was the first Lying to on pass your passport. <laughs> I was the first to pass my driving test in my year, so my pals and I would go out on drives purely because we could. When driving and approaching a bloke, I'd beep a couple of times like it was a mate, and nothing gave my pals and I more pleasure than to watch the poor bastard automatically wave, <laughs> thinking it was a pal, to see uh, a, a courser full of boys waving back and his face dropping. I don't think that's man play. I think that's you and your mates are gimps. No, you give Luke a section. You yeah. give a little a wave to strangers. Maybe makes a gimps. No, but you automatically wave, don't you? That's the funny thing. Like you just go, ah, and you go, I don't know who they are. Yeah, give them a, a funny old person name. There's Barbara. I love it. Nah, that's you it. and your mates are gimps there. Sorry, that, that's gimpy. That's happened loads to me lately. Beep oh, beep oh, beep. <laughs> <laughs> we made him <them> wave. <laughs> Gimp. <laughs> this is from Katie. Hi boys, I have a bit of woman play for you. I was gifted some chopsticks once, and since then, I've tried to eat the most difficult meals using chopsticks. Soup. Yeah. I can do cereal all right, but sandwiches were getting too messy unless I took them apart. Cereal? You could do cereal, couldn't you? Yeah, I, One I scooped enough, flake at a time. The thing is, like, what your brain goes to with, like, chopsticks being hard is, like, small things, like Cocoa Pops and that, like cereal. But they're predominantly used for rice. They're made for that. Yeah, but so the rice is sticky, isn't it? They're basically made, yeah, but so are Cocoa Pops, if you really want it. 
<laughs> what if you use glue instead of milk? <laughs> yeah. It's dead easy. Look at that. I've choked to death, but I've proved the point. <laughs> uh, last one. This is from Callum. Not sure if this is a man play, but when I watch a game show, I like to play along to it, but like proper play along to it. Yeah. With the chase, I'll sketch out a rectangle of the money board on it oh, and no. shade it in as the chaser gets them right to see if I would have won if I was on the show. When the voice was on, I used to, t to watch it with my back to the screen with a red button in front of me and only turn round if I pressed it. Yeah, he's autistic. I, I quite like that though. <laughs> That's class, that though. Just sitting there. I quite like that. <laughs> Whoa! Fuck off, you're ugly. <laughs> and you can sing. That should be called the ugliest singers, shouldn't it? <laughs> That's what it's for. What's the it should be masked singer. Is there weirder <laughs> yeah. shows you could play along to? What? Is there weirder shows that you could play along to? Naked uh, Attraction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would one go over that one. Keep going. No, Naked Attraction, but you're like one of the screens and you just don't get those <laughs> out. It's like, she loves my dick here. <laughs> she's not even looking at me because she's in love. I just do it at my, at my window. I do play along with like the chase and pointless and all that, yeah. but I don't like draw it out. So I just do it in my head because I'm clever. <laughs> I'm like, I know where the chase would be and where I'd be. Yeah, it's it's like three or four steps. It's not hard, you don't get it? your crayons out and draw a, no? No. Ah, uh, draws on your head. Was pointless a lot more challenging when you actually did it? Yeah, because Matt Richardson was shy. <laughs> I mean, like, was there, did you feel any pressure on it or not? No, I'll be honest with you, the day recording, that was fucking shit. So by the time we started recording it, I, I was I was just like, let's just crack on. Because it was COVID rules, even though it wasn't like deep COVID. And uh, so I got there. They were like, we need you here for like 11 a.m. So I had to get an early train down to London, Houston. And then it was an hour and 20 minute drive to Elstree Studios, which is like north of London. So you had to go into London to come back out. And uh, then they were like, right, you're going to be recording at like uh, 7 p.m. Cool. And you're in this dressing room. And because of COVID drills, no one else is allowed in the room for you. Uh, if you want anything, just give us a shout into the hallway that you want a cup of tea. And we'll get someone to drop it by your door. But there was zero interaction for seven hours with anybody else. I was just sat there, just do it. Like, but they were like, we needed you here early, you know, because like if there was delays or anything. And I was like, seven hours, this is mad. And then seven hours later, they, they bring us out, we do the thing. And it's over with it. Like it's over. It goes as fast as the TV show does. There's no breaks. There's no. They go literally like, and oh, now we're going to an advert. Like they don't even do that because it's the BBC. They're like, yeah, well, let's see that. And then they go right, and it's time for the next round. And then the next round starts. There's... So it's very. It was a very. There's no studio audience, is there? There normally is, right. but it was COVID. Nice. Imagine it's a proper. They've done so much that it's just a well-oiled machine, and they're just bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Not... Rich Osman TV, TV love you in seven hours before, don't they? They love doing stupid call times. We absolutely need you there. You're like, you fucking don't. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, pointless. I, I, I really wanted to do Pointless because it's one of my favourite shows, but by the time I actually got into the studios to record it, I was so zoned out from being there for seven hours. It was just a bit... Yeah. They took the fun out of it. You'd you'd do, what I, would you love to do? You'd love to do. I'd bet you anything. Oh, yeah, Pointless is probably the one, you know. Is it? I like Pointless. Millionaire for me. Yeah. yeah. You're like the star of the show for a bit, aren't you? you got to go over two episodes if you fucking near the end. I'll be in the fucking Millionaire audience. would be the one I I'll would... be in the audience coughing for you. I the wrong answers. No, just to get you disqualified. <laughs> <coughs> the uh, Millionaire is the one I would back myself to win. You'd, let's be honest, back yourself to win most things. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, like yeah, the most. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I think I think with three lifelines on Millionaire, I think I could do quite well, especially if all the questions were about Friends season five to seven. Yeah, I've seen evidence that that's probably true. I know I'll get thirty two grand. I know I'll be walking out with at least thirty two thousand pounds. Oh yeah, because yeah, the first questions like what first questions like what's is your Donald? name, <laughs> Adam. If you, if you want to see Adam prove a point, there sign up to Patreon, patreoncom slash uh, We've just put out a Patreon exclusive that is one of our finest. Adam was meant to be in Paris for the marathon, was not, and ended up being in on a guest co-host episode with Sean Walsh. And it's uh, an hour and 50 minutes of my some of my favorite have a word ever that is on our Patreon. And at the end, we did a mastermind where I put it in the fucking wall and Adam looked like Rain Man. It was pretty impressive. I want to do it again today. 
Right, like a hundred questions <laughs> at, the, at the end. At the end of just in the gap. Yeah, it's got social content written all over it. Let's do some uh, advice. Oh, is this loud? Not for me. Great. My headphones are quiet. Is it loud for you? No, it's quiet for me on one side. Oh shit, my life. By the way, them friends questions were apparently harder than I thought they were because I got them all right. Spoilers. But he's an excellent driver. <laughs> but uh. Me mate who also loves Friends, like she loves it. I was like, oh, we did this thing in the podcast studio today. Like, and I got them all right. And she was like, ask me them, I'll get them right. And she got two right. Of the, of, was there eight questions? You asked me three and you asked me yeah. five. She got two of them right. And she was like, this is doing my head. And I was like, oh, that's quite hard. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah. <sighs> Lee says, lads, uh, either need your advice or I have to have a word with this girl I'm speaking to. We went out on our second date the other night and ended up having a few drinks. We got on like a house on fire and was it we were all getting a bit frisky at the end of the night. In between us kissing, I noticed she had a bogey in her nose. Oh. I tried to be gentlemanly and pulled it out for her. But instead of being grateful, she was mortified and walked off. What? I thought she just overreacted because she was drunk. But ever since, she's been a bit off with me over message. Any advice on how to rectify this or is she just mental and you need to have a word with her? Just a Put first, it back. Just a date. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna stop it. Is it a date? Like a, yeah. one of the first dates? Second, Second date. date. Wow. Second you date and there was a bogey guy. in her nose. And what did he do about it? Say it again. Took it out. He took it out. What's wrong with that? What? I don't think you oh, should. Oh, well, fucking put it back then. I don't think you should <laughs> stick your fingers in someone. I think that gets with, When they're not expecting it. It depends how the first date went, doesn't it? Like if he's already fingered her, what's wrong with putting fingers up her nose? Nope. If your fingers have been in someone's pussy, you can pick the nose for them. Fact. Is how it works. Get on a t-shirt. It's not, uh, no girl wants the the bogey pulled Imagine out. Imagine someone did that to you. Yeah. But if they've wanked you off then? <laughs> they've already wanked me off. No, I, I genuinely, like, I, I, I think you'd hate it, wouldn't you? You'd yeah. Like, ah, Do you think even now, if Laura picked your nose, it'd be a bit weird? Yeah, it's, it's not weird, but you're like, just go, hey, you got a bogey. But what if we Two kids together? It'd be weird she if can't she pick your you nose. <laughs> yeah, but you should, got a joint bank account. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to be like, huh, you assaulted me. Like, I get it. But she could hey, go, hey, you've got a bogey. Like, it's... Yeah, but then has she ever wanked me well, off? Well, what if she just went... Has she ever wanked me off? I mean... What if she, if she just went, come here and just took <laughs> it out? 2017. What? So you're telling me it would it would be weird Once. if Laura come to you and was like, come here a sec, you've got a bogey. And she just took it out. You'd be like, what are you doing? And you've got a fucking joint bank account, two kids in a caravan together. Well, the first one is wrong. Never get joint bank accounts. It's insane. Your money. No, never do joint. I'll never, I'll die before I do joint bank accounts. Thanks. Uh, I would rather her finger was in <laughs> my nose. Knowingly. I would rather, <laughs> I would rather her finger was in my nose than my bank account. Fair? Um, Is that your ass? No, it's not euphemism. I mean, oh. my literal bank account. <laughs> Uh, nose goes like just a little <laughs> oh, withdrawal. Oh, I just think it's an easy, easier way to do it. Go ahead, babe. I just wouldn't mind it, mate. Ribbon. As long as it's not one of those ones that's like stuck in one of your hairs, and then when you pull it out, the air comes out and that hurts. Well, that's a very dry bogey, that, isn't it? I get dry bogey sometimes. I got <laughs> one last night. <laughs> just got all these women reaching in and getting them. Don't worry, Adam. I'm in here. I'm living here now. I've wanked you off, Adam. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where's that girl gone? She's in your nostril, Adam. She's in there. Wow. I'm sailing. Passing these out. Don't worry. No, I just just say it. Second date's wild. Yeah. But if she sucked them off, then she's got the pass. You don't know though. That we don't. We've just got to assume that the first date was. No, they've been necking on. It's fine. No. If well, she's had your I, cock snot, you can have your nose snot. These saying cock it's snot. fine. I co I'm <laughs> well the opposite. Yeah. I think this is. What happens if bad. she does it while she's sucking you off? <laughs> that takes honestly. A then I would sign up for Britain's Got Talent <laughs> immediately. But you, initially, you're going to think, she's trying to finger my nose. What is she doing on Britain's Got Talent? <laughs> I'm telling you, she can do that. She can do something. She can juggle her. Well, she's sucking David Williams off and picking Sam Carroll's nose at the same time. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that they're going to let that on. Good way round. <laughs> no, you keep, keep your fingers out of my nose. <laughs> and I'll be wife. <laughs> and my bank account. Anonymous wag wag lids need some advice. I've fallen out with my brother because I said he couldn't bring his bird to my wedding due to me only meeting her twice, and we're keeping it a really small wedding with about twenty five people, close friends. Originally he brother? agreed and had no issues. <laughs> he isn't coming. Brother's writing in. He isn't coming. 
<laughs> Originally, he agreed and had no issues attending on his own, but recently his bird asked where her invite was, and it all kicked off as he lied to her and caused loads of strife. I tried speaking Strike to him. <laughs> Troubles and strife. I tried speaking to him to put it all behind us, but he's blown his top again. How do I deal with the situation with the wedding coming closer or... Do you just need to have a word with him for being a childish twat? Love yeah, you're telling part. me he's not fucking coming then? <laughs> Genuinely? Yeah. You go, well, then you're not coming. It's my, like my wedding day. You're you're doing what I want. It's like my birthday. Obviously, yeah. the woman can get involved a bit, but like on, it's my day, isn't it? It's None of you are getting plus one to my wedding because you're all each other's plus one. This is the Venice one. I'm bringing her once, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. You're bringing Dan and Jack. Hey, that caused a, an eyebrow razor. That was a... What, she put like, eyebrows off? What? She shaved your eyebrows off. Oh, she raised an eyebrow call. Oh, she didn't raise your eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> a mad little 20 seconds. Oh, you mean Laura when you said she's not coming? Yeah, that was She it. was like, why you going talking about boy? I can come to the wedding. Yeah, she was doing her Indian accent. <laughs> that spray tan's really stuck. Yeah, it was a, it was, she was like, oh, okay. Not, pe not personal was, to Laura at all. Cause it, I mean, it is personal to her. It isn't. She's it not is. been invited. She specifically told she us she's not coming. <laughs> you I mean, that's how she was like, so what's happening? I was like, you know that thing we were doing? She's coming the to the bigger thing. She's coming to the home one. Yeah, she knows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. thinking about that. She's the one where we go to Venice and have that really special time. Yeah, she's, yeah. She is, she's sound with it, but it got her sort of like, okay. Yeah. And do you know what? We'd love her to be there. You know, we would. But it's 180,000 pounds. But it, no, it's not that. But she's hungry. It's she as soon as Laura comes, then he gets a plus one. And then Steve gets a plus one. And then, and then it's double the amount of people. And then it's, not yeah. as manageable as... And you don't like her as much. Which I, I love Laura, actually. Ah, right, right. I actually wanted to come before you, but, you know, I had to bring you. That's not true. <laughs> but um, I get this, because this is actually happening to me. Because I've got... Not you. I mean, you're kind of doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a, a real thing in some other places elsewhere. Oh, is it? Is it actually going on? Yeah, because it's new relationships. There's two bits of advice here. There's two bits of advice, okay? First of all, it's your wedding, lad. Tell him to shut the fuck up. And that you're doing it your way and it's your way or the highway. Tell your brother back in his fucking box. Advice for his brother, do what you want, bring her. What are they going to actually do on the day? <laughs> That's true. Adam Rowe, sorting out everyone's problems by making do? bigger ones. If, you just if I up. flew a plus one out to your wedding in Venice and just brought them, you, you'd do fuck all. No, oh, not it then. would be so no. cringy. It would be fine then. And then no, Seneca it would unleash hell. It yeah. would be so she bad. Can. Women not always overreacting to stuff. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get married to just see the the drama, which is like these are my dreams. Like I couldn't give a shit. These are my dreams as well. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. <coughs> Do you know not everyone can talk to their siblings like <coughs> you can. Like it's not. Yeah. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are more like, oh, God, how's it going to play out? You're like, don't give a fuck. That's Do Joe what you Pasquale. want. Tell him to fuck off. <laughs> what? It's Joe Pasquale. That's how he speaks to his siblings. <laughs> they fucking funny, you. Like, I just do what you... Both of you do what you want. No one's asked. No. If you flew Laurel out to Venice with them... Laurel. I, uh, uh, Laurel <laughs> and Hardy. I wouldn't do it. Oh, Yanni. I wouldn't do it. I can't handle it. I can't handle people being yeah, but if annoyed you were less with of me. a bitch about it and just did it and had the balls. No, to do that's it. not how that works. <laughs> You're not a fucking man. You just bring a plus one that I've not met yet. I fucking bring her over. Here she is, burn her death. She's coming. She's sound. She's already pissed. I'd love you to fall in love with the burn death. How's Bernie doing? Fucking hammered. <laughs> Bernie. Fucking Berno. Bernie. Big Bernie. It's fucking Berno coming. <laughs> Berno's already in Venice. She's gone over early. She's smashed. <laughs> Scoped out the venue's already been bad from one. It's gonna be a wonderful weekend with all the people we love. And Not we're long all we're crashing a wedding. Yeah, and it's gonna be all the people I love, minus a couple of that I love. And that's great. And yeah. she's had to be put in a box. But is Bernie going? <laughs> fucking Berno's gonna be there. Yeah. Oh fuck. Em. You're all each other's plus ones. Great, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There was a Bernadette in my year. She fit? She was actually. I think you've got to be the some age of fit. Yeah. You've got to be fit to be called Audrey, I think. I mean, and be young, I mean. Have you not seen Connie? I'm being, <laughs> I have seen Connie, yeah, so fucking case in point. <laughs> I think to be a young Audrey, you've got to be fit. By the way, you know when you say, um, like, uh, when I get married, it's going to be a nightmare and that, like... Oh, hang on. Zoom, 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 zoom. Like, if I get married, the, get, the she can have 
whatever she wants. Yeah. Oh, that's not how you A gazebo, ever. a deja vu, whatever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> she can have... I know. that I'm getting used to them now. <laughs> she can have whatever she wants, right? Am I getting deja vu? You can have whatever you want. You can have a gazebo, <laughs> deja vu. <laughs> But I always, I also get what I want. But what I want. But sometimes those things are going to conflict. But they won't though, because like you, she can't possibly say that I'm being unreasonable with what I'm asking for. What do you want? What are, you what, are, what are your, what are your requests at a wedding? Country music <laughs> <laughs> and Guinness. Uh, you'll have to second that, one. The first it? one ain't gonna fly, is it? What do you mean? We're at the wedding. Yeah. I'd like not, not like while we're walking down oh. the aisle and that. I just been at the wake. The w- <laughs> Whatever yeah. you call it. You the, the marriage wake. Oh, the, the <laughs> guys <laughs> from Losers Bar, the that kind of country band doing yeah. pop covers. Even I if get she that. doesn't like country music, then that is a sticking point. I it? would not marry that fucking bitch, would I? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't exist, Dan. She doesn't call anyone a bitch. They don't exist. Really. <laughs> Hypothetical. Big Bernie <laughs> loves country music. <laughs> she that is plays. that. W- they'd have to have a basic like of country music for really, me. Really? Yeah. Really? That's insane. It isn't. No, it really, like really, my, really isn't. Seneca doesn't like my music and I don't give a fuck. You and Seneca have got a really big overlap in the music he's like. No, we've got a very small overlap. I love hip hop and R&B and rap. She despises it. Totally. And that's all I listen to. I don't know even how you sleep with her. It's disgusting. <laughs> when, we get, when she gets in my car, I'm cool. I go put whatever you want on. And she'll just put Taylor Swift on because she knows I like it. Yeah. But she will never listen to my music. But you just like never. loads of the same bands. Yeah, but I'm saying like I don't listen. I only listen to that with her, really. Right. She doesn't like. There's it. plenty that you can overlap on. Not There's plenty that you can listen to together. Yeah, but, you, yeah, but if it did, all I listen to is country music. So if she's not going to listen to it even a little bit, to the point where we can have it dominate our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> there you I'm go. Not money in it. There you go. So you, she has to compromise and like it a little bit and listen to it exclusively on the biggest day of her life. I think that is fair. I want Guinness and I want some sort of country music at the party. She can have whatever flowers she wants, dauphin wire potatoes, oh. salmon, chicken, the, the vicar, or fucking we'll get a celebrity in to come and do it. Eating the vicar? Whatever. Like whatever she <laughs> you wants. You don't want, you don't, th- I you're don't give a shit to... about whatever venue, in the summer, in the winter, rain and sunny, whatever you want. We can do it wherever you <laughs> want. Imagine if a woman was like, I need a rainy wedding. <laughs> it's my dream. Speak we can do it wherever yeah. you want, whenever you want, on whatever day. Do it on a Tuesday if you want. I'll do. I'll take a Saturday off work. I'll tell the Glee I'm not available, right? I will not do... I, I'll do whatever you want, whenever Jesus. you want. I want she two married things. 2019, yeah. hasn't yeah. I want two things. Bit of country music that I can sing along to and have a dance with all my friends, and usually I'll love it by then. And then a Guinness, so what a if, good Guinness. What if she goes, I don't want a big wedding. I'd like to elope, and these friends can't come. Like what I'm doing. What are you doing then? But uh, are yeah. we still having a party when we get back like you are? I mean, yeah. Fine. At the, the party, Guinness and country music. <laughs> like a child. Can I have my iPad and my bean? Can I just say, <laughs> the Guinness thing's mental. Like, no bride is ever going to go, I do not want Guinness <laughs> available at the wedding. My dream has already been a bottle bar, specifically Italian lagers. <laughs> well, she no. says, yeah, but it's only cans. No. Why would she say that? Big good Birch. Guinness, I said, didn't I? I said a oh, good right, Guinness. Okay. Yeah, Big Bernie loves a pint. I think the country <laughs> music. So you find this girl, she's a nine. She loves comedy. She loves your shit. She's good with the boys. But she's like, I'm not a massive fan of country music now. You'd be like, fuck off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Is, do you ask that to a girl before you're dating her or when you're dating her? No, but it's one of the things that it's so, it's so common and popular, certainly at the minute. It's proper, like, on the rise. Everyone knows it. And it, it, it's, a, it's a common, like, talking point when you start talking to someone. And she got and she went, nah, I'm not into it. If she like, was like, I f- no, if she was like, oh, you know, there's a couple of things, then I'd be like, yeah, well, that's enough. Do you have, do you have sex with it on in the background? Do you have some, sometimes? Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. What's your... Like you should probably leave as soon as I've come. Nah, Tennessee like, whiskey like is a on the sexy wall. song. T- oh, do you know that is the uh, <laughs> the exact same melody as Etta James's "I'd Rather Go Blind." It's the same music. Wow, it's, it's has he not been sued? No, no he, so he, and the original Tennessee whiskey isn't the Chris Stapleton one. <laughs> was it not? I thought no, that was his. And tune. the original one is dog shit, and he took the lyrics of that, which are not the same melody at all, and combined it with the music of "I'd Rather Go Blind." And made one of the biggest bangers of all time. Mm, it is not making a lot of money off it, I think, because of rights. No, a it's a James the sound, probably what, what, Would Should you be energy? fine with a, a woman being more into the footy than you? I don't think that's possible, is it? Yeah. 
How? Like watching... Uh, so oh, like, what's I don't think any of Luco's are more into the footy than me. No, what happens if you come on? We've got La Liga on. Yeah. <laughs> She's watching us as soon against Bob. I'd walk back out again. I'd be like, bye. If she knows what that is, she's watching Santa Gossa and us as soon as. Nah, I've got to, I'm going out. Mate. Babe, let's go for some. Let's go for some food. <laughs> no, Adam. P and E against Derby's on. No, no I've only had three three more corners and a yellow for the Naki nah. Williams. And we can go out, mate. If Big Bernie's got an acher on. No, mm. if me bear puts an acher on, that's in the mud. There. Yeah, fact though. If your birds, if your birds waiting on cards for a hundred quid. <laughs> oh, really. he's took them off. I can't no. get the yellow now. He's no, on, I'm oh. sorry. Look, I'm a traditional man. I like my women to only bet on the national based on the colour of the horses. That's that's the max. That's the only time she can have a flutter, mate. I bet on the colour of the jockey. <laughs> Adam's requirements. Do you want country music at the wedding? Do you have a Bet365 account? <laughs> let's, let's, let's cut to the chase. <laughs> they are genuine, yeah. genuine deal breakers. Oh, hey. You're joking. But they are like oh. absolute red line deal Sorry, breakers. babe, I can't come out and watch them Verde Bremen on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> oh, babe, babe, stop mossing me out. Look at the odds on that. <laughs> well, I've got to put a bell. I like girls who don't like footy. It's actually the opposite for me. I love that Tereka doesn't love it because she's not poisoned by it. I get I get to escape footy with her. <laughs> I don't want it, and she doesn't like it, so I go over there. <laughs> if I'm yeah, I don't. I don't, want, 14, I don't need Laura into the NFL. No, I made up. It's mine, and I ate it on my own. No, imagine if you came home and Laura was screaming at the telly watching the Saints. Oh. <laughs> Ref! No, actually, I do like it. That was intentional ground. No, you all imagine they were the NFL jersey and not an Elson. That's what it is. And the tan lines. Yeah. Oh, I want me bed to, like, me bed. If I come home and me bed's watching Corrie, but wearing away the Bremen top. <laughs> oh. Not a Liverpool top? What if it was like a Bear Stad Rene top? Wouldn't you be a bit like, oh, where have you got that from? Whose is that? Yeah. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> no, I like, I like my lady to not like football. Luckily, she despises football. It's great. Yeah. yeah. It's fine if they're into it, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's just I, not for me. I, I no, actually, but it, again, like if you were single and and uh, someone was like, I, like football, you know, be I, like, I don't gone. mind like a, a girl being like a Liverpool fan and being like, yeah, no, I want us to win and I like it and they they know the basics and they like they can even go the game. Like it, no, it's sound. They're no, just not, not allowed no, on talk sport no, as a pundit. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just can't. You can't. No, I can't be like. You can't be analysing oh, the match. Babe, let's go for brunch. I'm on five live. <laughs> that's a pen for me, that babe. <laughs> Shut up. No, that's fine. No. They can be into the game. That's not it. But th they can't be watching Osasuna. <laughs> that's the La Liga and Serie A. Oh, what a problem. <laughs> they can watch their team. The Eredivisie. Verona, eight o'clock. Get your kecks off. Get a chippy. <laughs> no, I, I genuinely Should like... get down the pub for five and watch the Conference League game? <laughs> what? I like that she do I like oh, that she doesn't like footy. That's actually a thing. Would that be a deal breaker though? Uh, it would put it would give me a little bit of an ache in my in my head. Yeah, I do like the footy. Nah, I'm I'm not bothered by that really. Mm. Not that I'd be like, oh no, if she was amazing, but like I'm like, no, no, that doesn't bother me at it all. Doesn't like. bother me at all. Deep seated racism. That is an issue for me. Not That's where I draw a line. Oh, no, not a problem. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> okay. like where the, where the bed sheets <laughs> gone? Oh. What American history X after Osasuna? How quickly did you find out they've got deep-seated racism, though? Yeah. You could be too deep. You could be, like, s 10 months in. She goes, you know what? Day two like when you've got a finger up her nose. <laughs> What's that under there? Is that oh, bigotry? The it shouldn't be in there. <laughs> would, would that be... Get him out. What are you doing? <laughs> 10 months in, and you've got Cody on. And she goes, there's so many Indians in this now. Yeah. Dev shouldn't even be running that shop. 10 months in, we're already that watching Cody. should be gaff. <laughs> Is he still alive? I think he's dead now, Nozza. What would you do? Would you genuinely go, I'm done? I, I, I'm not saying you would condone racism, but we'd be like, oh, leave. How would you deal with that? He's still alive. I'd honestly, as soon as she went, do you want do you want to watch Corey? I'd be like, you're already gone. All right, she's watching the, the racism NFL. is secondary to okay, it. Okay, she's watching the NFL and she goes, there's loads of them in this, isn't there? <laughs> I was like, why, no why shit. would you not want your partner watching Corey? That what? is, Corey, he's watching soaps is such a massive green flag in women. Because that is 30 to 90 minutes a night where they will fucking shut up and leave you alone. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I'm a Tuesday around the 40 times if Champions League's on. Yeah. 
these fucking women. Nothing. <laughs> Am me. I wrong though? Is that not what men just need? Just 90 minutes a day when no one talks to us. Do you not need that? Are you with your missus you, all day? No, do you and not? I'm, I'm I wake up, we're with each other all day, and then fucking seven o'clock, Emmerdale comes on. Thank <laughs> fuck for that. Corey's fine. Hollyoaks is a red flag. It's poo, though. I don't... Uh, yeah. yeah. What was it? Yeah. Blue, what was the thing? What, Being blue? super into Hollyoaks <laughs> is a problem, innit? What was it? What? What was the line? Like, Curtis? Oh, Bruce, what yeah. Was it? Like, remember how bad the acting was? Oh, yeah. There you are, beginning to think you forgot about me. What mum say? <laughs> Probably stop whinging. True. How's Trish? <laughs> How do you remember that word for word? I watch it about seven times a month. How's Trish? Every time I'm hungover, I watch that. That's the worst bit of He shows it to every date he's on. Is this good? You like it? Good. You're all I, right. I actually... How do you feel about Guinness at weddings? Like your answer. I only watch the telly with Zeneca. I don't watch it on my own. So, like, if I want to watch it and I want it to be there... I watch YouTube on my own and footy and streams and whatever. But if the telly's on, I want it to be there. Do you still watch terrestrial telly, Dan? <laughs> no. Never. No, never. Terrestri she refuses to get digital. <laughs> She's got five channels. You know what I mean? Exist. Like I'll live watch, telly. We've got free Live telly. It doesn't exist. I can't. Honestly, film four. What's on there? Brilliant. ITV plus two. Do you not ITV think... ITV two plus one. Do you not think the age of... <laughs> plus two. I, I've got ITV plus five. It's great. I've got all the time differences. Do you not think the age of streaming and the overwhelming amount of choice has ruined the enjoyment of watching stuff? 100%. Yes. Yeah. Like, like the simplicity of having five channels or like even the 50 that used to be with Sky, where it was like, right, whatever's on, you watch. It made it easier to pick because now when you open Netflix or Amazon, it's so overwhelming. I struggle to like pick something new and commit to it. I've started watching The Good Wife again. You I've watched it, it through three times before you picked the old and i know i'd love yellowstone and i haven't started it i've started the good wife again because i just want the, it's just easy to make the decision it introduced but you're not watching films. it properly are you no i'm doing so who's on my phone while it's on yeah so that's fine because i've watched rick and morty a few times and i'm not watching it watching yeah it. simpsons is like that for me. yeah that's what i love film for because it was like nine o'clock there's a film on i might not know what it is and it's introduced it introduced me to dead man shoes film for. films you're like i'll just put it on see what it is and then you have to watch it, and I've I've found loads of films I love. It is hard picking a film now with Laura when we go. Let's watch a film tonight. Let's watch it together. Because you, well, if there was only five, you have you'd to, pick one. Yeah, you have. There's so many options. Yeah, what? you should join film club, Dan. We tell you what to watch. Yeah, she won't, she won't do that. She if she doesn't want to watch a film, she's not going to be. Also, we alternate it. She goes tonight's my film, and I go okay tomorrow it's mine. No, we just we have to agree. Otherwise, if I picked a film and she was like, oh, it's your choice tonight. 10 minutes in, I'd look across and she'd be scrolling. I know you're not allowed to do that. Yeah, but she, I, could she, there isn't a law. She, If she does it, she no, does it. No, but she's being a cool Put person. your phone in another room. Watch my know. film. Tell I your wife yours. to behave herself. You know what I, mean? I watched your she film yesterday, watch mine. And then she goes, yeah, sorry. No, does, she doesn't give a fuck. And then you end up watching films you'd never watch. Like it's I watched La La Land, I'd never would watch it on my own, but it's fucking superb. Yeah. Right? It's also that you don't get to chat about stuff because it's rare that everyone's watched something in a room and everyone's like, oh, I'm on episode two don't spoil it whereas when it was on telly everyone watched it at the same time yeah. oh yeah. that's gone hasn't it that's gone water cooler talk it's yeah gone. apart from the slow release stream stuff that they do where they do it week to week Game no but even stuff. then you you could watch it on monday and i might not watch it yeah, on yeah, thursday yeah. or friday you have to be diehards that watch it on the release time yeah i've not watched game of thrones i know what happens pretty much throughout everyone but dies everyone fucks each other and then they all go and live in the forest at the end spoilers <laughs> Big battle Literally. that's really Fern dark. Gully. You're welcome. What? Um, Who's that? That's just uh, the, the plot. Oh. Game of Thrones, I would recommend. If the last... That was such an age thing. What? If the last six or seven episodes didn't happen, I'd be like, you need to watch it. But now I'm like, you need to watch it and then stop. But what's the point? It's ru It's That's ruined. one of the things that's gone out of public consciousness. Whereas The like, Sopranos hasn't and... Um, How's your dragon though? Because of the ending, it's just gone. No one talks about Game of Thrones really anymore. Yeah, because you fucked it. We do a little bit. It's still held up as one but, of the best things in the always, last 10 years. There's always that caveat of they, they botched the ending. Like the diehard fans of it were like, you don't watch Game of Thrones. All do what Carl does now, where it's like, don't really worry. Yeah, you, it's great to watch, but you're not like, what's going to happen? You're like, it's just. Like five years ago. When did it end? Two years ago? About five years ago. So five, six years ago, if you told someone, oh, I've never watched it, they'd be like, what? Yeah. And now it's like, yeah, you saved several of the time. 
Yeah. No, it's no. Hang on. Some of the best. Just because, just because ever... just the last episode doesn't tie off, doesn't just completely no ruin it. There's fucking parts of but Game of Thrones no, that are unbelievable. There's no jeopardy if you know the end. Shit, we were enjoying it because like fuck, what's gonna happen? But if you know, it's just bleh. yeah, they botched it. But the Battle of when, yeah, Winterfell is still catch. amazing. Yeah, like it's still up until it. just forget to watch the last episode. I think the last five episodes. No, the last two. Is it two? Battle of Winterfell is like three to go. How is it? Yeah, yeah it's unbelievable. They rushed it, it. There's parts of it that are insanely good. That ending is frustrating. It doesn't ruin seven series of... No. Totally. No. Breaking Bad done it well. Better Call Saul did it well. There are things I can't rewatch. Breaking Bad I can't can't get back into because of uh, Skylar. I, I never understand why everyone hates him oh, that much. Such an annoying character. Uh, we need a break. Let's have an interval. Hello, everyone. Now it's time to tell you about my absolute favorite sponsor. It's lovehoney.co.uk, the world's biggest online sex toy store with that lingerie ting as well. And I'm telling you, they've got some great stuff to make you spaff. Now, if you're a lady or you have a lady, the Fifty Shades of Grey Greedy Girl vibrator is next level. I'm not joking. I've been messing around with this for the last 10 minutes and it makes me wish I had a biff, you know? And oh, look at the little rubber ears. That's on you. That goes on the clip. Loads of orgasms. And then this. I don't even know where you whack it. Where'd you whack this, Steve? Right up there. Super squeeze vibrating double keggle balls. Oh, the fun we're having with these. Look at it dance. It's dancing. Imagine what that's, that's going to do in a hole. And then there's all sorts of other stuff. Uniforms, sexy lingerie, the stuff for the men, then vibrators. Don't just be wanking off old fashioned style. They were like doing normal wanks in the 16th century. Modernize your wank game. Also, you need some of that good, good lube. It's all available at lovehoney.co.uk. Use code word 15 for an extra 15% off the discounts that are already on there. Bruh, some good jizzing. Love, honey. Mm. <laughs> Welcome back to the Hoverway podcast, ladies and gentlemen. This is part three. We've got uh, Simon Wozniak here with us. Whoa. Hey. Hello. Been on once before. Went yeah. down fine. Uh. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> here's what I wanted to ask you. Because uh, when you it's walked terrible, in... that episode, wasn't it? No. Was it? It wasn't? No, it wasn't. I know it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> here's what I wanted to ask you. When, and I nearly said this to you as you came in before. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you're looking well. Right. Thank you. But here's the thing. Don't feel it. Here's what I'm, I was about to ask you. Do people tell you when you're looking well? Because here's the thing. Here's, here's my thought process, right? I think this is your default. But last time I seen you, you looked awful. So you look well to me now. Right. So I th but I think most people would see you looking awful and say nothing. And then when you get back to this, mm. people are like, oh, he's back to normal. Whereas me, like my default is like a fat mess. So people always tell me I'm looking well when I go like. Be honest, be, be honest right now, stop you now. You've asked me quite a lot. Yeah. For me to formulate a response because <laughs> I've lost interest. But carry on, go on, do carry on. Because oh I just, I just struggle to try and right. So I, I look like this. Has anyone told you you look well recently? No. <laughs> See, I'm right. Hang on, are we just talking. Why would, are we why talking about they? health? Are we like? Because people can go, any... oh, you look clear-eyed and well. Are you just talking about weight? No, I'm talking. Right, about... no, if any, right. I'm, I'm, I'm bad. Now, like I should be way better. Two weeks ago, I was really good because <laughs> of just the that. ale. Like, like I, uh, I have, I have difficulty putting into words my thoughts because there's so many things that I need to say. It's a pleasure to have you. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, what I tend to do is I'll tail off all the time. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that. yeah. Because also I lose interest in what I'm saying as well. <laughs> now, just trying to get back to that point. No, I don't look as well as I could be. Mm. Give it two weeks, three weeks. If I manage to stay off the ale, I look a lot better. Like, I noticed. I, I, know, I bet Tory with Jamie here. Hutchinson's doing you the world of good there. Um, that's, yeah, well, Tory, he's not bad. He's not bad for the oh, ale he, now. Oh, is he being he, sensible? He can, he can, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't want to blow him up and that, but he can just go and leave. It's me and Fee on that. We, we just go up, we're just there for a fucking party, aren't we? Whereas he's got to actually do a show. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter what I do when I go up before him because he doesn't give a shit what I do. <laughs> I don't really give a shit what I do. <laughs> so, therefore, I just go and drink a lot and try and get followers. 
How many do you reckon I can get off this episode? Loads. Ever How many? Fa- what's your at? It'll be on the screen. Five and a half at the minute. No, what's your at? What's your social? Oh, handle? at Simon. Uh, Simon. Oh my Wozniak. god, he trailed off on his fucking handle there. Yeah. <laughs> Simon was the at comedy. You've got loads. Ever How many? Follow him now. I don't know. Two thousand. Really? Yeah. Do you reckon I get two k off this? Maybe. Oh yeah. Do you reckon I get to ten? <laughs> get to ten, I'll do an hour. That's what I want. I want. I'll do that. I need to do. I need to do an hour now well, as well. Simon, just because I can't do this. How many? How many? Yeah, they, they need to understand this isn't. I'm not being good when it matters. Is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's shite. You want to go and listen to the guy who fucked it all up? That's you- the funnier guy. I'm funnier now. My career's in the bin. Like that's funnier to me. Do you think the career was ever on fire? <laughs> Two weeks no, ago. but there was two a time. Weeks ago when he was off there was the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a there was a time it looked like it could have gone. Yeah. Then it then it went and crashed. But now I think it's funnier that the more you go on, <laughs> like oh, I'll, say speaking to Jamie about this is how shit can it go before you have to go? No, we can't laugh at this anymore. This is <laughs> this is bad. You've got to. You've got to do something now. Do you remember? I think we're shit. all thinking of the same name. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There's uh, comics in my head who are exactly what you're describing. Right. They're like they're like the dancing drum kids at school who never got bullied because you couldn't bully them. That you just go one level up. You can bully the one level up. <laughs> yeah. Right. <clears throat> I noticed the air blade doesn't work in the disabled bog and the mirror's a bit too low for my liking. But anyway, <laughs> but well, I didn't think it was that sort of podcast. The, uh, <laughs> the mirror's low in because it's a wheelchair, isn't it? That's a disabled toilet. Yeah, but not all not all disabled's are wheelchair. low down. No, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but like some of them are huge. If you st- st- <laughs> <laughs> statistics, was Andre the Giant disabled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go then. Yeah, but. And he, one at the top and the one at the bottom. The bear's shit in the water, Simon. Um, <laughs> but, I don't but know. He, um, he doesn't need a disabled toilet, does he? He can just use a regular toilet, Andre the Giant. <laughs> no, he can't. No, he couldn't. He had to shit in the bath. <laughs> he had to shit in the bath <laughs> and then he poured the hot toilet? water. He was rich. He, no, trust because he couldn't fit anywhere. I, was, I, I listened to a podcast about it. He had to shit in the bath. Yeah, he was I massive. I think this is an excuse to get out of an area with his missus, you know, he's come it? in pissed, shit foot, in the bath. No, seven foot five. He was seven, an horrible fat. He was well boy. over seven foot. He just kept growing, seven didn't he? Four. And then, then he had to die. Yeah. Because <laughs> he, he, he couldn't keep him, couldn't oh, they don't, keep it up. No, they don't last. Did they're, he make a play? They're true giants. They're not, they're not hitting a hundred, are they? Did but also dwarves no. don't last that long either. So there must be a hundred like a, year old giant. There must be like a happy medium. He made everyone sick on a plane by doing the world's biggest poo. Yeah, people were gagging and crying, <laughs> struggling to breathe. Because of Andre the Giant, he's in a, the yeah. big world's biggest poo in an airplane. Is it a disability or is it a superpower? I also think it's really handy that the Guinness World Records were there on the flight with him. <laughs> Does that mean he was planning it in advance? Probably. World's biggest shit I've ever recorded in the sky. Uh, Simon, do you remember when I when I gonged you off twice at the same show? I do remember that. I was going to get to that at one point, but I also need to go back to the way I look as well. <laughs> I need to address the way you look. Okay. Um, so yeah, no one. I don't look. I look better now than what I have done. Yeah. I also had a nose job, which helped out as well. Oh, didn't I need a fear breathing. Yeah, I had a septum, deviated that. septum. So I don't know. Whether, it didn't help that badly because I, I, basically the surgeon said, "No, you you can't have a straight face." To me, after I was like, "Fucking hell!" Oh, so can we talk? Because I need someone's advice. I was gonna ask Sean because he's had it as well. Sean Walsh. Oh I yeah. Need, I need a rhino and a septoplasty. Did you? No, I need one. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I Definitely get it done. Yeah, yeah. Totally oh. It's, yeah. So you, you just could, you couldn't breathe through your nose. Couldn't breathe through one nostril. No, I, I can't. can't breathe through mine either. I I can't. Can't. Loads of people have got I them. I can. But, <laughs> uh, it's quite um, common, yeah. But but it's just because it's not visible sometimes. Uh, How long was the um, recovery? That's the oh, thing it was me. horrible. I know. Uh, well, the way I did it is they just let it scab over, and then I just couldn't. Like you think when they say you're not going to be able to breathe for a bit, like they think, oh, I'll be able to breathe a little bit through your nose, but there was nothing for ten days. I was going mad. Oh, I was, I lost a bit of weight though. That was that was another thing that helped lose weight. Because you can't eat. Because couldn't, you can't couldn't, breathe. Couldn't be eating. asked eating. You can't taste it if you can't breathe. Not about the taste, just how uncomfortable you are. You thinking I can't be asked with this. So you just sit there and just fester for ten days. If you cover your nose up, you can't taste what you're eating. You can. You can't. You can. No, you uh, can't. You can't. You can not like coke. Yeah. yeah. You know that's like <laughs> coke, don't you? It just that's that's a blind taste test. Um, <laughs> with his eyes. <laughs> your look, my look. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, do you want me to say boots and coat? If he put a coat on now, he'd walk around Sefton Park so easily. That is boots and coat, rig out, what he's got on there. 
What's Boots and Coat? So we talk about like the South Liverpool people. Yeah. Southport is South Liverpool. They've just put it up there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Southport, South Liverpool. Southport yeah. is South Liverpool. It's just for... spiritually. Yeah. How often do you go for a walk and grab your coat and your boots? Um, never. Really? Never. No, he doesn't live the life. He's just. I don't do it. It's culturally appropriate. And <laughs> like, I really don't. Yeah. No. Right. No. So I. This is disgraced Tory MP, scandalised Tory, whatever. This is what that look is. It's Mark Hancock after he got fired, yeah. Like that, yeah. Oh, yeah. the press conference on the driveway. Well, sort of. Oh, just it's a bit yeah. top gearish as well, isn't it? It's <laughs> yeah. a bit top geary. Um, so, do I ever grab me? No, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for a walk. No, but we I'd, say, I, I, I'd love to go for a walk, but I just don't ever have the time. Or We say, I'm going to get me boots and me coat and go and walk on Sefton Park. What do you mean you don't have a time? I have time to go I for a walk? I don't have time to do anything. Why? What are you doing? <laughs> this is the problem. By doing nothing, I'm always doing something. <laughs> like, I've got to go and do a podcast after this, which I don't want to do. You're what podcast is it? Person? And another one? Oh, your Mine? one? Mine? <laughs> <laughs> Go to win. Just use the audio from this and stick it on ours. <laughs> I'm voice memoing up. <laughs> Early access to have a word. <laughs> I'd respect that so much, you know. What if I voice memoed yeah, yeah, yeah. so. up? <laughs> Yeah, but I thought, oh, this will probably interfere with the signals and that. <laughs> so I thought, oh, best not. Go on, so when I gonged you off twice, do you remember? Right, yeah, I still need to get to the way he looks. Um, no, go on, t- go right. on straight to how I look. Yeah, well, you've gone for the curtains now, haven't you? I've got long hair, yeah. Curtains. Do you, do you prefer do you prefer that, or do you, do you think you look better with the short back and sides? Well, Simon, I feel like you're going to tell me what you think. No, um, I just want to know what you you think. I'm enjoying having the longer hair. I didn't wash it this morning, so I've put a cap on because it gets a bit greasy. But I actually want it really long. I'm going for like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, like um, May Mary. Hands you're never there. gonna get that long. What do you mean? You, you how long do you think you're gonna get to I before you get, go? I want to get like Alan Rickman in Robin Hood. I I don't watch films, so I wouldn't know. So you know Alan Rickman. I don't know anything. You don't know anything? <laughs> no. It doesn't do anything. Could you get a, could this you get is a why I'm up? so terrified about doing podcasts and stand-up and releasing things and all that. Because I, I have to... Sp- like, I said I was brave because, like, I s- publicly speak a lot and I don't know anything. <laughs> and I'm like, if anyone calls me on anything, I'm fucked. Okay, so... Oh, he, yeah, we don't worry about that. If he invited me to the pig... <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm going for. That's the that's the dream. Right. And, and Carl will put it in here. Right. Okay. Paul like like Paul sure Paul in there, then. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, invited on to Mastermind, what would you pick? <clears throat> oh. You had to pick something. You must have something that you go, I actually know all that. What's nah. your specialist subject? I, I was gonna, I was gonna say The Simpsons, but I don't think I'm that. I, I think you're probably a bit next level to me than that. I picked. So we did it yesterday, and I picked Simpsons. Oh, I do day. think The Simpsons. Can I recommend recent. '90s Formula One if you want to look like a fucking numpty? <laughs> you can't. You can't. This can't be you, can it? This what are you is, talking about? Alan, I'd love you going to look like Alan that. Rickman. That is exactly what the dream. That's the target. Right. <laughs> There's oh, no way. That fringe. Lord. Looks like Dan's fringe now. I think I might join you. When I've got hair, this is where I might go. <laughs> What's wrong with me going for that? Well, so my hair went Hans Gruber. That's what I was, again, it's another Alan Rickman. Yeah, but I, I don't want that. I want this. No, and I didn't want Hans Gruber. That's where it went. So you don't really, sometimes you can't really pick. Yeah, yeah. but I've spoke to me barber and he says I I've think, got I think it's, like this. It's, it's Alfie. You're looking like Alfie there. Now. He looks like that now. No, he doesn't. I don't think you remember what Alfie looks like. <laughs> I do have seen him on Instagram. It's Alan Rickman. <laughs> It yeah. is. It's 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 all nah. You you were short back and sides. That's better. what you are. No, is it? You are that. <laughs> <laughs> like you can do that, but you are short back and sides. He's going back. Yeah. Know what it was? That's I did, what you are. I did I'm gig. not leather jacket, but I'll wear one. You wore one because it looks time, shit, and I'm like, yeah, sound. You did look like you were doing a like dice clay tribute act. When oh you yeah, I got gonged off at the other fucking show as well, didn't I? <laughs> that I did was gig. embarrassing. That I fucking like, hell. I liked it. Oh, mate, that was one of the most... Imp- I was so pissed, though, I don't remember it. So the last okay. dance. Yeah. yeah. Jamie was my carer that night, one. He's like, how bad it was. But, yeah, I do remember that. That was embarrassing. So, go on, tell us about the double gong that, that you, you... Did we not talk about this last time you was on? I don't think no. so. So long ago, anyway. Me and Adam ran a from... gong what? show called... Beat the gong. Beat the gong. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <That one. laughs> we never got in trouble. We got a PR. We got a PR <laughs> team in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To, uh... Do you know what we did? We made this lovely flyer and then put the address on. <laughs> Yep. Sound. So uh, you'll hear about it. Yeah. It was uh, at Baby Blue. They give us the Wednesdays. 
uh, to, to run our own night. So one week it was an open mic new material night for pro comics. And there was like four comics, whoever did it. Yeah. And then the week after it was a gong show and it alternated like that. Open mic new material, gong show the next week. Could tell and, uh, you exactly Simon was on, was but on. it was when Simon was new and he hadn't figured out yet how to sort of... Talk. How, how to Didn't you make talk? material out of his actual mind and ideas. And he was trying, he, he just wasn't, he hadn't figured it out yet. And he goes on and he just fucking eats a bag of shit and they bump, like gong him off. But he early in his set, he teased, he'd gone like, got this really good bit later about this meal deal anyway. Meal deals, yeah, <laughs> meal deals. So the cards go up and he gets gonged off and he goes, oh, for fuck's sake, didn't even get to do me meal deal joke. And he goes off <laughs> and I go back on and the audience go, let him do his meal deal joke. Come on, let him have do his meal deal joke. And he goes back on and then starts doing another bit that wasn't the meal deal bit. <laughs> wasn't and it? then Carl just went, yeah, that's not the meal deal bit. And he gonged him off in the sound. I room. just pressed the Is that what happened? I pressed yeah. the music went, get the fuck off. <laughs> right, I yeah. don't recall Hey, by that. the way, that meal deal bit got good. It did get good eventually, yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Um, I think it got good. It reached its... It, it got to the, the bit of it was at another gong show for hot water in this... You know, do you remember when they did the gong show, that long room? I don't know what it was. It was like a little tunnel looking thing. It's like a... a... Was it oh, the... yeah. Yeah. Where was that? 50 quid win. <laughs> Where the fuck was that? I think Mike Carter beat me that night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember this. When when about it was been in a it, they, yeah, it was, you wouldn't have been doing it, would you? Because you no, weren't one yeah. of the MCs and you weren't like I think you were beyond not gone by the time they started. Hope Street, actually. <laughs> what? Be. Wasn't far from <laughs> Hope Street. Oh shit. Where the fuck was that? But anyway, Roger Swift was on that night as well, I remember? And then he he, he uh... <laughs> Roger Swift threw the mic at me. <laughs> I oh, just Swift got gonged off. <laughs> and then Jenny semi bro, and then yeah, fucked up. Screamed at the audience, <laughs> fuck the lorry, as you wouldn't know comedy if you're in the face. I'm semi professional. And then as I was. He's a good lad, stage, Roger. Yeah? The mic at me. Semi pro. Oh what does that mean? God. In comedy? He's still semi pro now as well. <laughs> <laughs> Means £50 gigs. I love your. Um, I can't really semi-pro. recite it properly, the drink driving bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I smashed that water the other night. So fucking hell, like. Bodied it. That's so funny. Yeah. That, man. No, because Stephen Cook's one of them. I was like, fucking hell. Saying I'm not doing long after him. He's doing well here. And then I went on. I just fucking ripped it. It was great. New room. Yeah. Blackstock is open, it ladies is. and gents. Yay. Yes, mate. The biggest, twice already. The biggest purpose built comedy club in the world. Well, is literally, it? yeah. Yes. Literally fucking biggest on the massive. 589. Um, and there's been no media about it at all, which is so hilarious. There has now, mate. That Monday show was great. Like, yeah, I was only show. there for the start of it, but, like, yeah, you, there, there was just a proper energy in the room. It was really fucking good. Uh, and I'm gutted I didn't get to stay and watch the rest of the show. I had some stuff to go and deal with, but... So if you don't know what we're talking about, Hot Water have moved, and it's been... it's. It, I mean, it was meant to be, like, a year or so ago, wasn't it? But they finally got it open. It's because it's just such a mammoth project that they've taken on. So Hot Water, as we knew it, has just evolved again. Yeah. So in what, the fourth... Is this the fourth major move in 10, 12 years yeah. in the hot water sort of story? They've built their own Baltic market, essentially. They've yeah, built their own food court and put um, the big world's biggest comedy club next to it. It's only it. phase one as well. There's phase two, three. There's other things coming. There's other theatres. Like, the building is going to be... You can go there at nine o'clock in the morning and be there till midnight. You can do so many cool things there. It's going to be ridiculous. Yeah. Right. Amazing. But it was classy the night. Did everyone smash it the other night? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Smith Smith died. Um, Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He tanked. He's, he's on a bad run of form. Yeah. He passed four or five years. Just never, just, <laughs> just never, never got him. Never got him. So he he, he struggled. Uh, Tony struggled. Jamie tried new stuff. Didn't really go well. Um, yeah, just basically show was over after I'd come off. So um, no, no, everyone everyone did fine. <laughs> What's it been like touring? The- What's it been like touring with it's Jamie? It's shite, isn't it? Because <laughs> you've been Jamie's tour support on every tour show, haven't you? Oh, yeah, so you so... Did, he did the autumn and then basically extended it. He's done t- essentially two massive tours either side of Christmas. Yes, yeah. The the hot water run was heavy. That was... that was Ten shows in four hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that broke him. That broke him and, and, and me as well. Um, but he had to go and do that. Yeah, that was, that was tough. Um, well, how, did he have to do... Like three on a day or something? He did two, like two Monday, one Wednesday, two Thursday. 
But yeah. you need to understand that he and I don't like doing it really. <laughs> <laughs> so it's exo- that is exact that's tough that. Do you really really not like doing stand up? Even well, now. Well, I don't want to speak out of turn for him, but for me personally, um <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I, I think I just wanna really just drink and eat and just do nothing. And then, oh, I want to be able to do, I want nothing to be something I can do. I want that to be an option. You want to be rich? Yeah. Yeah. See, I go like this, look, this is, but you've worked hard. Yeah. There's no way I've got that in me. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I always have this existential you, crisis of it all. What steps are you taking so that you can get rich? Do you know what I mean? Coming on here now, trying to beg for followers. <laughs> but then I'd have to do a show and I'd resent that. <laughs> And then I'd be like, oh, God. But then, then I'd go, oh, I need to make that money. And i go, well, if I make that now, then maybe I can have a year a year or two off. And then <laughs> and then I think that's what you do until you get to 50. And you go, that's enough now. <laughs> I'm fucking done. So I think you go, one more year of making money, one more fucking year, one more year. And then you go, oh, God, right, one more year. Then I'm off. And then you, and some people go, yeah, I'm, I'm off. And then they have a great life and just do nothing. And you get bored, I suppose. Nothing but I'd like to have a chance to get bored. Doing nothing is my favourite thing to do. It's hard, though. Very difficult. I'm good at it, though. Very difficult yeah, but, yeah, to but do when nothing. do you get the time to do nothing? Not often, but that's why I love it when I do it. Exactly. Look at him over like half an hour a week. Half an hour a week. He wants to turn pro with doing <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, hey. how, 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 how much free time do you I'll have? I'll work half an hour next week and see what happens. Answer that question. What? How much free time do you have? What do you mean free time? Stuff that, where you can do whatever you want. Uh, I don't know. Right, so you finish it after this record now. What have you got to go and do? Well, it's the, the night time, isn't it? Yeah. Like, everyone's got the night time. Three, right, so I'll, what? <laughs> that's so cute. Just a night time. <laughs> and so what and time that's, when, you that's go- when monsters come out and I've got to be in my bed of We finish this podcast, we've got to have a meeting, I'll be home for six, then I'm going to the gym, I'll be home at eight, and then it's eating and go to bed. So where's me, like, where's me free time there? I haven't got any today. So you'll be you home by eight the gym o'clock. Free time. Yeah, your gym. Well, the gym is free time, and call. you're home at eight o'clock, and you don't have anything to do, and you'll be up till at least what midnight, one o'clock, probably midnight. So then there's what? four hours free time today. Okay, there you go, there. there. Yeah. And, what? Right, and then what and time then you t- get up? And tomorrow you're off. No, I'm not off. So what? Do you know what? I'll take. T- I'll do half an hour's work this week. Let's right. see how this fucking episode looks. Right. Okay. So tomorrow, what have you got to do? Got to make this. Right. So how long does that take you? <laughs> so I've got to edit it. Adam, why are you doing this on the pod? <laughs> Listen, because I love admin on podcasts. Yeah. He's, I love talking he's about the admin. Quit live. No, <laughs> he's well, not. The podcast finishes. He's though, fucking not though, is he? The so finishes. how long does it take you? to know how horrible this is. How I know you not like it, how but like how long does it take you to make it? Anyway, it takes us long. Usually a bit longer than the episode is. Right. So I'm gonna take break because sitting there for three hours, whatever, is not good for anyone's head. Okay. So so probably like four. Yeah. And I've got to wait for it to export and upload. I've got to get the thumb. I've got to contact everyone. I've got to make the clips. I've got to keep doing the socials because you have stopped doing it. I'm not asking you what you got to do. I'm asking you how long it oh would take. Oh, God. A day. And okay. that's, that's me day until five o'clock again. And then what are you doing Friday? And then I'll have to come in and do a bit more. I, I want to finish everything on the He Thursday. does come in. Because yeah. you know when it comes <laughs> up on the parking, it's been paid. Either that or he's driving he does, to town. I know he does. Parking. I'm just winding him up and oh. I'm also trying to make a point. I know it feels so, like you are actually I, trying to get into more than the average person. Yes, I've got a bit more free time. 100%. I'm very That's privileged in that Saturday situation. Saturday, you're off. Saturday, I'm off, yeah. Sunday, you're off. Yeah. You're not editing on Saturday, Sunday. God. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing Monday? This again. Right. <laughs> and Tuesday? It? This again? Uh, don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, I'll do half an hour's work. I watch the group. Lad, what's going on here? Fuck off. So... What about you? How much free time have you got? Oh, he's always oh, gone. Not him. him. I'll join these for him. Go on. <laughs> I do the clips and the the subtitling. That you do the clips about... in here. No, mm. I don't. Well, you do the sing the the singing and the guitar and that, don't you? In game, that's not part of this. He writes his little music and that. But that's Simon. Must... How have you started an appraisal? <laughs> You've come on the podcast and everyone's like, right, let's write down what because you're doing. Because I want to know what the reality, like, how much you can just do. I, to have four days off. Yeah, I could have four to days do off. nothing. I could. But I have to cram everything into the third day. But I don't, I don't like to do that for my mental health because I don't want to do that. So I'll spread it yeah. over. Self care. Mm. Mm. You go to the gym, yeah? Yeah. Go to PT. I try and go every night, but every other night, if not. Go to PT. Was that a little, little flog oh, in your throat? What, what are you laughing at? Yeah, the flog. It throat. wasn't. It wasn't. I just, my body made a weird sound. It went. <laughs> <laughs> Cargo the gym. 
<laughs> You're going to gym a bit now. I've seen I'm you. So bad at it. It's great. I need to be on testosterone. What are you trying to do? Because you're doing the running. No. Nope. Yeah. I don't. Why? Stupid. Why is it stupid? It's the Just, easiest way to lose weight. No, it's not. Lift weights. Yeah. Lift no. weights is better than running for losing. No, 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 it isn't. Yeah. You don't lose any weight by lifting weights. Don't eat. What on earth are you talking about? You don't lose any weight by losing weights. You lose weight by losing being in a calorie weight. deficit, which <laughs> weightlifting cannot give you. You can get in better shape. What on earth? You're you not going to weigh I love everyone's yeah. fucking you philosophies get, you can get on losing weight. You get in better shape you build muscle. You don't lose any weight by lifting weights. Comment, we don't want to lose comment weight. Comment below every peak. That is not, uh, uh, absolute nonsense. Auto, auto, auto nonsense. No, it isn't. You don't, Google it. Yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't necessarily say anyone needs to lose weight because... You need to just change your composition. Read it. I'm in a calorie deficit by not eating, and I lift weight, and I'm losing weight. I'm not running. You're losing weight because you're in the calorie deficit. You're not losing the weight because you're because you're moving weight. I'm still weights. training. My body's still moving. I'm still burning calories. So yeah, yes, I am. Th there's there's n no amount of weightlifting can burn as many calories as cardio can. I just I do so both. The best way to lose more calories to burn yeah, more. Yeah, but your body will get used to cardio. Long. And then yeah. it'll mean that you've got to do way more to get lose anything because your body will go, I need to keep the fat now. Yeah, but that's not what I... I, yeah, I, I want to get to a point and stay there. I don't want to get to a point and have to keep losing weight. I want to get used to cardio. And also, cardio makes you go to fucking because you can fucking clap cheeks for, till the cows come home. Nah. Yeah. In like So you look at Usain Bolt and you look at a marathon runner. You reckon smashing better? What? Who's smashing better, Usain Bolt or a marathon runner? Uh, a marathon you runner go, Usain, for longer. He fucking do you see a sex of sprint or a marathon? You what? Are you seeing sex as a sprint or a marathon? Well, you're not doing you're not doing fucking four hours worth. <laughs> yeah, Mo Farah is. Mo Farah fucks. Do you reckon he fucks better than Usain? He he fucks for longer and no steadier. No chance. Mo Farah fucks. Mo I don't Farah, think he does, you know. Mo Farah fucks for hours, mate. Mate, he does. Who's he fucking? Sting. He's busy. Sting. Yeah. Sting does oh, tantric, tantric sex, sex doesn't he? Wow, that was a mad yeah. <laughs> No. That would be sense. quite the <laughs> bit of celebrity gossip. <laughs> Do you know who uh, Mo Farah's shagging? Sting? Yeah, yeah. No, I think I think <laughs> Usain does more than Mo. I think because he's more charismatic and, you know, tall and that, yeah. But I think he's more charismatic. He's just healthier looking. You said that like you've been on a date with both of them. Uh, you know what, I, I, liked, I fancy both of them. But... Who do you think he's got more, more, more charisma, Usain Bolt or Mo Farah? I don't, I don't know either of them personally. I, I've never, right. I haven't shagged either. <laughs> okay, <right>. yet. <laughs> Just right. a sprinter like then. Sting. The sprinter look. Would Tyson rather... Gay. Tyson Gay. Yeah. 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 I, I'd, 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 I'd rather. I'd rather have the physique. Morris Green. I'd rather Ooh. have the physique of Usain Bolt than Mo Farah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm about okay. Safa Powell? <laughs> Just because I've got another yeah. one in my head. Ooh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> right. Yeah. So why would you not want to train to get like Usain? Because I think the ship has sailed on me being <laughs> in the 100 metre sprint in the Olympics. Yeah, but just you, you'd look better if you had a bit more muscle. Rather yeah, than just uh, yeah, and I'm, uh, I've started people, resistance yeah. training, yeah. Now that I want to add muscle, I've started resistance training. So you've stopped the marathon stuff now, no, haven't you? I'm doing both. We're doing a cycle. You can do both. Simon, I'm, I'm, mainly, because, I'm mainly going to the gym for the pre-workout. <laughs> Which is a uh, part because of cocaine. You only get in. Right. That isn't cocaine. <laughs> is, it, is it though? I, that annoys oh, me right. about this pre workout. People talk about after you've had the pre workout, woof, and all that. Oh, it's. Fuck off. Oh, if you're a drug addict, you'll love it. You only <laughs> get in Mo Farah marathon shape if you're trying to like run two hour marathons. I just want to get it done. So I don't need to be like that. Usain Bolt could run a marathon in the shape he's in if he trained for it. Mm. And he yeah. could still look like he looks. So I want to look like Usain Bolt. And okay. smoke Mo Farah. And, and fuck Mo Farah. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Do you want to look like you say fuck? And beat Mo Farah in a marathon. That's the dream. Who's <laughs> in the fight? You say Bolt? Yeah. Yeah. He beats Mo Farah. I do want to be in the chest. everywhere. And I'm not saying just cardio is all you need for a good fuck session. Like, obviously, if you can pick a girl up and lash her down the bedroom, they all love a bit. Oh, of no, Mo can't pick anyone up. He no, gets he picked up. Yeah, he does, yeah. <laughs> then, you know. He's got little ankles, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, with, <laughs> he's with some swole women. But that's what they is, like. yeah. I love him, by the way. Swole. Yeah, absolute. <laughs> oh, it's great. It turns me off. Just get me in a headlock and yank my dick off. I'd love it. Be great. Yeah, so what, a good player. what are you doing in the gym? Wait. Just staring at women on steroids. Yeah. That's so good. You're on the steroids. <laughs> Bad idea. No Jack, hair on the steroids. He's getting himself off his fucking head. I'm fucking sorry. Free workout. Changed. I'm getting mm. healthier. Because you're doing the, what? The, the cycling thing. 
Yeah, just I'm just getting off the cocaine. Are you are you not and cycling? Uh, and doing pre-work. Dan's a recovering drug addict. Dan, Dan is completely incapable of getting high on life. Like right, I know that, but then that I, I don't know what, what stage you're up to with it. Because oh, I'm tr I'm trying to stop boozing. Yeah, how's it going? Terribly. Yeah, but I've listened to that. Yeah, that book that Alan Carr to stop you. <laughs> Alan not Carr. Alan Carr, the comic. There's a guy <laughs> called Alan Carr who's wrote a book, and he, he basically humiliates you into actually drinking. Like you think, God, I'm I'm I a loser. Why, what's he saying to you? Just says it's just a, a confidence trick and there's no need to do it. And now I feel like I've got the tools to quit drinking, but I haven't <laughs> because <clears throat> I, I don't, I just love it. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Because I'm down. bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. Alcohol has destroyed my entire family from yeah. top to bottom. Yeah. Grandparents, parents, even my little brother's fucked with his drinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And I look at all of it and go, do you know what? That is awful. It's an abhorrent substance yeah. and it can really fuck you. And I love it. Mm. And there's nothing else to do, is there? There's, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. There's not apart from <laughs> have a pint. You can only go out on towers so you many go... times that so you gotta go, I've, I've gotta get pissed now. Yeah. You can go to the gym and you can go for an hour and a half, maybe. You can't like you can't go to the gym all night. You can't do a day session in the gym. You can't meet your boys in the gym at 12 o'clock on a Saturday People afternoon. People do, though. <laughs> Stay That's there. happening. That's happening. <coughs> people aren't going to drink as much now. It's the same with smoking. I think they know how bad it is. And the younger people will go, we're not going to booze. We can go out and not have a drink, though. It's you not can, like yeah, and it's shite. It's better than not doing it, though. So it's better than what? You're saying you can't go to the pub at 12 o'clock and see your boys. You can. You just don't have to have a pint. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're you always doing that. You're always doing that, yeah. On a Saturday. Me, you, we always go out. Meet midday, have a cup of there. tea. Oh, I always have a lime and soda. You're full of shit. If you go in the pub. <laughs> oh, and also, I don't want to. Do you know if I'm going to the pub? Do you know what I want? A fucking pint. Because you know why? It's class. And why would you meet at the pub if you're not having a drink? It's like meeting at a restaurant and not eating. Watch the yeah. footy. What? Mm. Watch the footy. It's yeah. weird, man. And I do that sometimes occasionally. I go to pub and I have a Diet Coke and I sit there and I pretend I'm having a good time. <laughs> I can do a that. load of shit. <laughs> do you do I'm that? I'm watching everyone else have a good time being like, no, I can do this. So do you rely on alcohol? I don't then? need it. What? So are you relying on alcohol? Am I relying on alcohol for what? To have a good time. In the pub? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, totally normal thing to be in a pub and, and need the alcohol to do take it to Do you think you're an alcoholic? No. You, you are. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, good You news. will be. Well, what's your definition? Well, obviously, my definition as well probably isn't yours, but I think I am an alcoholic now. But <laughs> I know we think an alcoholic is two litres of body in the morning, stop the shakes, don't we? That's what we <laughs> think it is. It's yeah. not, but that's what we think it is. No, I think it's... I can't who... sit there and just... I. You don't drink in the house either, which is no. a bit weird. Yeah. Why? Why that weird? <laughs> Why I think that that's weird? a good safeguarding measure. Nah, people who don't drink in the house, I just think you're a bit... What are you doing? If Seneca gave me a tea, gave me a bottle of beer, I'd be like, what are you... What are you doing? I'm in the house. If I want to go out, I'll have a drink, I'll go out. Why would you not drink? I don't understand this. This is a, a big argument. I just don't. Why, why not? Well, this is why you're an alcoholic and I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what, so I do don't know why. Totally drinking in the house why not alcoholic? just give up booze? Because yeah. I like it. I like the social aspect of being. I'm never happier than like four pints in in the pub with live music on my mates, ever. That right. is the best it gets. Between four and six pints with my friends in the pub is the best it gets. And I wish... And are you not wealthy enough now to sustain that every day for the rest of your life? Because that's that's pretty what some people Absolutely, do, don't they? But I also am fully aware that like, if you just... Too much of a good thing, you end up hating it. No matter what it is. Do you know what I mean? But you don't stop at six pints, do you? No, that's the, that's the thing. If you could bottle that feeling of four to six pints and be like, this is great, but you can't. Either you have to put the whole night in the fucking wall <laughs> and have a 17th pint, mm. and that's what you do every single time. Or you have to stop at six, but then the joy goes away and you end up like hungover on a night out, and that's even worse. Yeah. So mm. the good option is always, to I'm not at drink. six. <laughs> this should be where we just go, this is great, and we stop and it's all sound. But of course you don't do that. You go, oh, I'm feeling good. And the reason I'm feeling good is I'm having this. So I'll have another one, another one, another one. And then 15 in, you're pissing yourself in the boat, and then you've got to go home and you're covered in your own shite, but you've had a lovely day. And the next day is fucking horrific. <laughs> I think it's best he doesn't drink at home. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I think maybe that's a good little bit of... I, use, I drink with shots. <coughs> I don't really drink. I don't drink like pints like these. Oh, uh, so, so you drunk. really are just there to But then get I, drunk. If, if I'm like, oh, I'm feeling a bit sober, a, a shot will just like top me up. No, I'm not about that. I don't like. I, you see, I being but out. I, I don't drink though. But if I do, 
that's how I'll drink. I'm a kind right. of like 50. He drinks like, like Americans. Americans. Yeah. 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 I like to be, be drunk and then I can control it. I can go higher with more shots and I can take it down by having less. Oh, that's weird. I don't think you're a very good, like, no, no, good you're not a normal example. You know of what a you are? You just, you just got your head screwed on you. You're in control of everything. No, but that, that's not I, know, I got not, I far just will do it till I'm passed out. Just love it. That scares me. And at home as well. Yeah. More at home. Don't go out. Don't have time. So I have to do it at home. Don't <laughs> <laughs> have time. I haven't got home. time to go to the pub for six hours with your mates for. I've got to stay in and just fucking get drunk until I'm I pass a lot out. Wake up. Ah. I'm a lot better now than even I was two, a year or two ago at going. I've had enough and going home. I'm a lot better at that now. Yeah. Like I get. I often get like between six and eight in now and do actually go. Nah, that's enough. I'm done. What do you drink at home? Uh, everything, wine, whiskey, beer. I don't really like whiskey. I've just started doing it now because I just think it's about time I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got there now. I've started doing whiskey. I hate it. I hate it all. I hate it all. I, I, uh, every now and then a beer you tastes need to nice. Come see a therapist, lad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not doing that, it, lad. You, you haven't got time. I uh, no, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I haven't got time. My mate did therapy. He said bollocks. They do it and they love it. He does it. Every oh, day. therapy's sick. My shite. It's not. It's fucking great. You go in every week and she just looks at you and goes, "You're doing really well." <laughs> it's so good. You walk out feeling like, do you know what? Fucking, I deserve it. Adam goes in for the confidence <laughs> boost. <laughs> nah, you don't. You don't need. Uh, well. You need therapy, Simon. I walk nah. out to therapy every week and go, "Do you know what? I've earned the Guinness." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't need therapy for that. I yeah. just go, good hell, lad, you've done all right there. <laughs> How long's the longest you've been? Have you ever gone, I'm going to be sober for... I think I did a month in lockdown. Uh, and the way to get through that is whenever I wanted a drink is just drink water or something until you don't want to drink. Until you actually just, you don't want to drink. <laughs> you are never mind, never mind wanting to drink a lager. It's like, just drink a pint of water. A pint of water, you're like, you know what? I don't even want to drink anything. Never mind a beer. You've just, you've just like basically stuff yourself. If you got, I want something to eat, Jesus stuff yourself. Christ, <laughs> you know, you're that, fucking that, drowning. That, that. Simon, stop drinking I, the paddling pool. I, I did that. <laughs> I want to not drink, so I'm not allowed to drink. <laughs> not yeah, the yeah. bad drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you're just drinking up water the other. I just don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> <That's> so bad. <laughs> I'm mum. Yeah. And it was shite. But no, I do, I do like I like I like the ritual of a wine as well, and I get the wine, and I, so I have a few beers whilst I make meat, and then once <laughs> then once I've made the meat, finish the beers, oh, on the wine, then the whiskey, the whiskey's the end, that that, <laughs> that comes in and closes it, fucking like that, gone. You can't follow the whiskey. Oh, the mate, wine no. can't follow. The wine is solid middle, no. but it uh, cannot I, I, close the <laughs> 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 Yeah, so you I wouldn't would... start on a wine at four. That's, that's just savage. So were you a kip on the couch then? Yeah, just gone. F wake up. Oh. Wine is Freddy Quinn. It's too dark <laughs> yeah, to yeah, open yeah. with, but fuck trusting it to go on at the yeah. end. <laughs> but I do love it. I do love it. Uh, the, the, the wine. You can't have the wine and then beer. Or sometimes I mix it a bit, but whiskey, once that's out, not having anything after that. Do that until I've done. The only drink I've ever had in my house is a French martini that I've, we made. Joke. And I also hate whiskey as well. Go on, what? We have French martinis of people around. No, oh, so you you've got you see you you you're one of, I you're like my sister and you you're gonna <laughs> my, you're my gonna sister. get into a, a realm of like where you just have a nice thing and you know how to put spreads on and you know how to do stuff and you, you eventually charcuterie. Yeah, and oh, you're gonna be able to yeah. host. You'll know how to host you're when you're else. 38. Properly though, like properly, you'll be carving meat and everything, and people will be dipping things in, and you'll just know what you're doing. Whereas I, like, I can, I can barely make one meal without going like, I can't do this. <laughs> and this will be like, you make tea, and be like, I know it's gonna take you two hours to make a bit of chicken and chips. Because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> and just I'm just getting bladders in the kitchen. <laughs> can I just say? And Simon wasn't at like, dinner party. Sounds fucking grateful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> two hours <laughs> and a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Look, I fucked the chicken. It's on the cup. Just have a fucking I'm thirty five percent to lose the JD. Oh. And shut the fuck up. <laughs> what do you want from me? Who loops? <laughs> what yeah. would you if you were going to host a dinner party? What would you do? Three courses. It'd have to be steak in it. 
<laughs> All three courses. Steak and hula hoops. <laughs> Sounds good. All three um, what would I do? A three course <laughs> meal if I had to cook something. <laughs> I just go M and S and eat something up. <laughs> that is already for your third You steak. cook well. You cook. <laughs> this just one's a little everywhere. different. <laughs> one ribeye and fillet. There you go. It's your fucking meat, is it? Uh, I made a lovely chicken satay last night. You make good. You you look all right, you. But you use onion. I don't do onion. I don't onion. Um, I like Indians, but I can't have Indian as well because that fucks me. Can you can you you can eat Indian? You couldn't eat an Indian, could you? I can. I mean, I fucking shouldn't, hell. but I do. Remember in fucking Edinburgh flat? <laughs> oh yeah, when shit all over the bathroom. That was yeah. yeah. Every day. Just one time, I just woke up and went the bog and went, "What the fuck <laughs> has happened here?" <laughs> I, I always just forget like, we lived together, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We didn't <laughs> I see think each I other. Walked it out. <laughs> I think that month we, just is out. What of my year head. is this? What year is this? Twenty nineteen, you reckon? Or twenty? 2018? Yeah. 2018, it me, or 2017. Been, it must have been the year I did Ghost. That's 2019. 2019? <laughs> yeah, was it, yeah? Me, you, and Daniel Muggleton. Yeah, yeah, and we never saw... Well, you two saw... I never saw... I saw you once when we got there, and then I think that was it, and then I gave you a lift home. Because <laughs> I'd, I'd come home, she like, She didn't late, give me money for. Like, hammered. <laughs> just, like, I'd come home late and hammered, right? It was a joke. And just didn't. got caught a bit short going to the toilet, and I just got a little bit of poo on the floor, right? And in me <laughs> drunk, like... In me drunk and stupid tried to clean it up and he just put in the house what's happened the next day. I don't know who's done it, but I'm like certain the stupid Bobby shit. go back and get that message in the messenger group. I was like, the fuck's going on in there? And then and then Muggleton was like, I don't know why, what's it? And then you admitted it and I was like, oh, he's admitted it. These things I thought, I'm not getting blamed for whatever's happened in there. Did you know? Did you? I mean, you had an I idea know it wasn't Muggleton. I didn't know he had IBS or anything. This yeah. was long before it was documented, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He just pooed on the floor. Yeah. I didn't tell anyone either because I thought maybe he doesn't want anyone to know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nice person. I just thought he might not want the whole world knowing that he's just blue shit everywhere. So I thought, oh, I just won't say anything. <laughs> but it did taint the rest of the spend the, the, the time spent there like, getting clean. Like just didn't know where shit was or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm one of them in it gives a shit. I didn't know you were that bad on the aisle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know so you know you're bad then? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Which is why it also feels like it's not a problem. And that's <laughs> not... Do you know, you... Once once you've admitted it, you yeah. have to then put some, you know, measures into effect, though, hey? Well, you, you've you really... You, you don't do it... And like, you, if you're c crashing a plane, you go, don't worry, this plane's crashing. You can't just be like, you know what? I've said it, I've admitted it. Let's just leave it. Yeah, it's yeah, like the first step, but there needs to be, like, five more after it. Yeah. And I'll get there eventually. One day, I reckon I will not. Be, I'll be a teetotaler. Really? Yeah. yeah. Because it can't. Well, I'll be dead otherwise. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm dead, yeah. <laughs> hey, he's teetotal. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, about Simon. He's teetotal. He's finally off the air. <laughs> yeah. He's really cleaned his act up yeah. since he's been, you know. Dead. <laughs> do you reckon it'll take your head off? If I stop drinking, don't yeah. tell him that, man. I do don't tell him that. <laughs> I, I, I asked you, him. Every booze is like, yeah, it fucking would. No, I re no, because I've said on my podcast, I always have to say it now because obviously we're doing this now, constantly chatting all the time. I'm concerned to sound like a broken record. Do you, are you, are you, do you ever feel like that? Yeah. yeah. Just every time I speak to anyone that is it, like, I have to go, oh, I've said this on my podcast. Yeah. Everything I say, I'm like, <laughs> ugh. <laughs> <laughs> no one fucking listens to it anyway. And I'm just, I, but sometimes in my head I go, because I've been around people who've started saying things that I've heard on a podcast and I've just pretended to be like, oh, it's the first time I've heard that. Or go, I've heard that before. Do you know what I mean? Shut up. On a Monday at and Hot it gets Water, in my head. Rob, uh, Rob Thomas said to Rachel Fairbairn, like, how much would it cost for someone to come in and buy all killer no filler and just, you don't have to do it anymore. Just buy it outright and give you the money. She was like, oh, I don't know. And I went to Rob, what about you? And he was like, I take 500 quid and we'd never do it again. And I was like, are you still on the same bank details? I was like, I'll give you that, that's all it takes. I'll Five tonne that, that much, fuck it up. And you keck start if you get that. Do you reckon you'd lose your, like, your edge on stage? If I didn't drink? Because like stage now, it's no. total. And, uh, Is he? Yeah, yeah. and you can, you can physically see it. That's, that's you, not you'll nice. See space, you it's sad, care. isn't it, when you hear someone go teetotal? Yeah, I mean, it's sad. Let's just qualify that. He was when he was in. Oh, sorry, yeah, when he hosted 
um, but that six was weeks like, ago. Yeah, yeah, six or seven weeks ago. And I went, so how long have you been? And he was like, four and a half weeks. <laughs> yeah. But, but he was talking was like it had been a good two years. Yeah, I mean, he might, he might be off the wagon. Yeah, but in drinking time, four and a half weeks is two years. Yeah, he, he seemed it's totally long. different. Yeah. yeah. I reckon I'd be a much happier person. And I reckon I'd be better. I think eventually one of my plans is also to get in massive real good shape and then eventually not have to do a stand up and just be like a, a Instagram model but then that's dying off now so if I ever get in shape I think oh, well that's one thing I think looks good just <laughs> just get paid just to get your photo taken yeah you wouldn't have to do stand up or speak out loud it would be anything. amazing <laughs> if you could do alcoholism and that at the same time <laughs> we can't can you no. though because you have to drink tequila tequila and soda and you can do it I've looked into it would you ever want to get in? Re are you have you still got a little thing of one day, or are you gone That's like funny. of getting in real? No, but like real shape. Yeah, I'm gonna do it before India. You're gonna get like actually jacked. Yeah. And you reckon that's gonna happen? I'm gonna be a lot more shredded than I am now. I'll tell you that for nothing. Shredded wheat, they'll call them. Yeah. But how long? You've never been that though, have you? No. Mm. <laughs> and that's not who I am. <laughs> No, but it's who I'm gonna no. be for a bit with long with the long hair and that. Yeah, and then when you're gonna go, I'm just gonna get like un, uh, <laughs> Jack Finnegan. You are. <laughs> Jack Finnegan is gonna take an unbelievable amount of press shots that last me for the rest of my life. Right, like I'm still gonna be touring when I'm 65 yeah. with them press shots <laughs> as the tour poster. Right, but then when people come and see me, I'll just be like fat. Six again. pack Alan Rickman is gonna be doing some <laughs> fucking bits online. You're get tats. What? That's the next one, isn't it? You've had your teeth, you've been doing your day. Me, uh, me, Jack and Alfie nearly got a tattoo the other day. We nearly got, all got the same Winnie the Pooh on our arm. I know it's from. It's from Why? the tour. Why? It's, oh, it's, it's a reference from the tour, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little in-joke between us. Right. right. I can't knock you. I've got a dead pig on my ass, so. But a Winnie the Pooh was a first tattoo. Yeah. Bad. Bad. How many tattoos have you got? Um, one. It's on it's my bum. It's a pig, dead pig on his bum that he suffocated with a spade and some poo. Said it on the pod before, mate. Right. Pod Dan reference. killed a pig and flew, flung it into a pile of manure and it, <laughs> it suffocated to death. No. What? I tried to do it mercifully a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much for me to if get Dan, If Dan's not minesweeping, he's killing pigs. So you're... Oh, no, you, fact. You, how long were you on beak for? What? <laughs> well, I don't want to talk about it because I don't know whether... Do you, you talk about it on stage now Since or what? Since 2002 till uh, January 20th. See, that's never got me that. This year. Be, Coke's never... It's, I'd almost think, would I be better off with that one? <laughs> uh, no. no. Which would you say is better, worse? The one, so in terms of what? Like, would you rather... Right, obviously you I'd rather have a problem with cocaine than a problem with booze. Yeah. I have did a whole bit about this in my special... Right. Just because cocaine isn't everywhere, it's not available. And when yeah. people go, it's available everywhere, that's yeah. hyperbole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. I can't go to my nana's and be like, I fancy a line. <laughs> but you could go to your like yeah. you relatives go to and go, oh, yeah, she's into it. <laughs> mm. I've had to stop seeing her. Um, but don't you have to keep... See, I didn't realise until a few months ago that you need to keep doing coke throughout the night, like, every half an hour. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Which right. is quite useful to be honest with you, because I think if I did, it once. I could have had a real problem on me. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing it once and going, "This is shit." Yeah, what? Well, yeah, because it also made me anxious about getting caught. I thought the high, the, what I'm getting from this getting is nowhere near. You? No, like the idea that if I was in the box sniffing coke and then I the bounce of steams in, uh, kicks me out. I go, like, I don't like this enough for me to do. And I always end up needing a giant one. I always end up needing the shit oh, with it as well. I, I don't know whether it's because it's laxative or it's because of the anxiety, but I'm like, oh, I don't like this. Which is Can't what I mean. Can make you poo? Yeah. Does it make you shit as well? I mean, it, de it depends, yeah, through a combination I'd of... I always shit myself. A combination. Combination. It's a common side effect. <laughs> yeah, because they cut it with, it's like, laxative. baby laxative, yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's exciting. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's a well-known Wouldn't it be thing. better for everyone? Here's a, here's a noob question as a non-drugsman, mm. generally speaking. You know the way cocaine's cut with all sorts of shite? Mm-hmm. Right. That stuff. And the, re the reason they do that is so that, like, when they sell you the bag, it looks like you're getting more than you are. That's what mm. it's for, isn't it? So they can stretch the batch and get more money out of it, yeah. But, yeah. like, everyone knows they do that. So wouldn't it be better if they just didn't do that, gave you the pure stuff and was like, listen, it's the same It'd price as the old gone. big bag? Have you seen the medical? They do. Dealers do that. Dealers are like, we've got this A-grade stuff, and that's 100 a gram. That is still cut. Have you not seen the it's just gangster? less cut. But why don't drug dealers just be more honest? 
<laughs> so, yeah, because we've never dealt with the drug dealers that do do that. Do do. Do do. There are proper high end drug dealers who be like, this is 500 a gram. And it is like de facto rating. 500, of 500 a gram. Celebrities, the A listers are probably They're getting, getting a, a good shit. The, yeah, there is a high, high end. Have you had that? that? No. There's no beds that I have. one with. of them. Oh, right, yeah. Not anymore. Just Google it. High, high end. Have you not seen American dealer. Gangster? He gets the best shit and makes it the cheapest. Right. No, but and then everyone else just doesn't exist and he yeah, owns but there, it all. There are, there are high end, there's very bespoke, wealthy, where. So, like, Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones has been on heroin for fucking years, hasn't he, apparently? Right. But it's not, he's not buying smack around the back of Spa. Like, it's. It, there, there, you can get it from these high, high end. But right. For most people. It's 50, 60 quid a gram and it's just cheap. Yeah. But they try and go, but this is the really good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, you do not know what's in it. That's the argument with legalization as well, isn't it? Is that if control. you if they legalize it, they control it and it'd be better for people and there'd be less dodgy side effects. That's the and same for all it. drugs. Yeah. Make money off it. Yeah. yeah. Like if they made sausage rolls illegal, like they'd be full of fucking shite in about five minutes, wouldn't they? And everyone would be having heart attacks in there. Five minutes? Well, <laughs> I'm interested to know what what. I got this would, sausage roll's got baby laxatives in. What that would be like? That what would? How do? What do you think? What would be the difference between that five hundred pound a gram versus the sixty pound a gram? Yeah, you, you would longer high or no? Or, you just you'd need no less. Shit in yourself. You need a lot less, and it would probably be a better. And high. you wouldn't need to shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think know. you'd pay a premium for that. All the money. I don't know. I love what that is culture. a lemo high? It's just like, like laser. I, in my, it's like laser focus. Is that wrong? No, like, that's yeah, wrong. No, but it's not like, hey, I'm fucking, I'm here, I'm, I'm alert, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling everything. No, co I mean. like confidence, self assuredness, and energy. Like, um, it, there is a bit of focus with it, I'd say, yeah. It's like having a Red Bull and a hype man at the same time. Ooh. You're your own hype man. Yeah. While it's sort of poisoning your whole body. Yeah, just that's to... the rebel. <laughs> so you get full of energy and you got someone over there just going, disrespectful. I would oh, this damn man. Damn, damn, no, he's shit. I would love that. Oh. I would pay 500 quid if it, like, you, he's, if you've Flavor never Flav it. just came never out. I have, I have done you? it. You oh, good lad, good lad. You've got all my estimations there. I thought you'd never <laughs> done it then. No, I've, I've, done, I've done, done it. I just right. think it's shite. Yeah, it is, yeah. I just don't get it. No. Not do, you know why, do you know why I don't get it? Because I love... Ale. Yeah. I love being six points in. And what that does to you is make you feel like you're back to one. I'm like, that feels like the last two hours has been a waste of time. What? Does anyone do anything here that makes them feel good without hurting themselves? Uh, getting sucked off. <laughs> getting yeah. sucked off by his nan. What is that? What, 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 what is, what, what's an example of that? I don't know. I'd like to know. Maybe go. I I, I, I often say it's not like being a joke or anything, but I do love like going on roller coasters. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 no, no, not like trying to be funny or something, like, because I don't like being funny either, it annoys me, but like, I, I do think like when you go on like the Oblivion, it is fun, but it's like, takes ages, it's doesn't it? has got no time. I'm at <laughs> Alton Towers, lad. <laughs> it takes ages. Oh, lad, fuck the lemon. Like, you go, go on the roller fair, coaster. you get on nine rides in a day, that's not enough. But it's fun. I fucking love going on roller coasters. <laughs> The Pepsi Max, though, I don't like that one. Oh, we spoke about that recently. Terrifying that, innit? And it broke again. It's a good idea. Did it? That people had to walk down. <gasps> oh, my God. I watched a thing, um, a film. Oh, funny that. I um, I watched a film called Fall, where these two girls climb up a tower. Have I've seen, seen it. Seen it? Yeah. What do you think? It was shite. Shite, yeah. Yeah, it was shite. Yeah, that was it then. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, loads of people got in touch and went, it doesn't get pushed around as it's going yeah, around. Yeah, no. It is just inertia. I can't believe it's got that much momentum. That's yeah. wild. What? We just had a discussion about roller coasters. Oh yeah, and it, the only mechanized movement is up to the top, and then the rest is Momentum. just the energy from the drop. I didn't know it got it. I thought that must have a little bit of a push. I, I didn't think it'd be able to get all the way around with just momentum. Pepsi Max goes around on momentum. No, what about like the Nemesis? That's not all going around off just dot one first four. I don't know. Maybe it's different for different ones, but know. the Pepsi Max. Um, and with that. I can't hear my fucking ear. Let's have a break, eh? Huh. Hello, everyone. Time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's manscaped.com. Promo code WEIRD20, 20% off and free worldwide shipping with that code at manscaped.com. Look, it's the very best in men's below the belt and above the belt grooming now. 
They've got the performance packages. You get all sorts of products from them. You can get products to shave your balls, shave your cock, shave your face, shave your muzzy, trim your nose hair, trim your ears hair. And then you can also put this stuff on your balls and stuff. You get a bit of toner, ball deodorant. There's undies you can get. They come with this little travel bag that I use to go on the road with now. You get a little newspaper with it. Upgrade your pub game. Can't be having big old hairy pub butches. Shave them. Treat yourself right. Treat your lady right. Treat your gentleman right. And if you're giving a gift to a man, stop buying him shit that he doesn't want. Manscaped.com for some quality presentes. It is the best stuff on the market. And we're 20% off with the promo code WORD20. You can't go wrong. Get your pubes trimmed. You'll get sucked off more. What is there to lose? Manscaped.com. Come on, let's round this shite off, eh? <laughs> Come on. Get it over and fucking done with now. This could be... Throw in petrol in a fire with Wozniak, but we're going to do some pet peeves. That doesn't have to do my head in. Got any little pet peeves? Little things to Not main <laughs> one. Main one. Uh, people that don't move forward in the drive through. What, when there's space in front of yeah. them? Yeah. Put the order in. Go forward a bit. I can't get there, but there's about fucking for me to you in front of them. This I can't get in. Uh, oh, they're just sitting there like fucking on the phone. You think like, I can't. Also, and then some other cunt comes on the left. They get there. Oh, but when you get, get there, there before, yeah. you get there. You know, you know. There's always one lane in Mackey's that they they don't go to. Usually the outside lane yeah. gets piled off. The outside lane. Well, I I don't. Cause I've been stung so many times. So I've gone. I've seen two, three, sometimes cars go, and I've gone. Yeah, no, it scares me. It's too tight for me, alloys. I have to go wide. Otherwise, I'm just gonna, I'm not doing Same that. sort of thing as when you're at like traffic lights and someone's turning right and they don't move like to the right of the oh, lane. Yes. Oh, but there's something I love doing though. So I love it. So if I'm, so say there's two lanes, one goes straight ahead, one goes straight and right, but there's obviously traffic coming that way. So you got to wait, like you say. If I'm first, I'll yeah. drive in that one and put my indicator on. Yeah. And then see the people in the queue behind me all going go left, 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 on. and then straight on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that. <laughs> see, everyone, you can see everyone dipping in and out, and I get, oh, they don't know. I go, Whoo! And then they're like, you fucking know it. The worst thing, but it's also a good thing, Joe, and there's two lanes in the Mackies, and yeah. it's, it's meant to be like a zip in it. You, you, yeah. yeah. But then, like, two, and then someone tries to go through, and you're like, why aren't you going? In <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. And I'll, I'll crash into you, mate. <laughs> well, yeah. But if I get the chance to be that guy, I'm fucking taking it as well. Yeah, yeah but that just means you've got managed that they've, they've neglected the other queue and you've managed to nip through. Yeah, I know, but it's also a bit of a dick move. Take every advantage you can get in traffic. It's the wild, wild west. None of us hang are friends on, in traffic. Hang on. If you are already, like, if you're in the at the angle because you're coming in from the second lane and you're at the bumper of the car in front, yeah. And the, clearly, that's that guy is just ordered in the in the in the queue that goes straight forward. Before. He's ordered after you, and then tries to take that position. I will kill everyone <laughs> in that queue yeah. to not give up that of spot. Of course, it's the it's the biggest cunt move. Cunt move ever, yeah. Like if I'm faffing around, or if it's even equal, then yeah, it's a race to that. that I get it. But if someone is already there, and you're like, yeah, but what if I just fucking force in? You're the dick, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. But if you're saying if there's a bit of like. But like, say if they're like, being hesitant, then fuck them. Say, like, there's a car gone and you're both ordering, and he just orders it like a second yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, ah, I'm going to go. Like, yeah. yeah. But it's my go, innit? Right. Yeah. It's, it's a zip, I get it. But then also, I get it as well. I like, have literally been in that thing where you're like, this is all very orderly. Like, I'm clearly, even though I'm coming in at the angle, clearly I was here before you. When yeah. they get aggressive with it, I, 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 I like, this is out of my nature. I'll damage both of our cars because you're <laughs> being a cunt. I will crash. I'm usually pretty passive, happen? but fuck that. I've never seen people crash. I've never seen them. some... No, I've never seen somebody take do that. Like, I mean, you only you know, you get your half a second and then... But then your one was first. Oh, mate, I have been that guy yeah. where you're like, it's so obvious and I haven't left like a gap. Mm. Like, what am I doing? Like, I've... It's pretty firm and the, the like they're going straight up as if to get in that space. Fuck you. Yes. Oh, it drives me mental. What happens if you break down in a Mackie D's queue, by the way? Once you're like... I did once. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> they push you out. Do you know what I realised the day? Do you have your electric car breaks down? They have to come and lift it up on a thing. They can't, you can't push it. So if you're in a lucky car, you're fucked. Fuck. Oh, because it damaged like the moat. Like yeah, the I got to, a fellow uh, came to my house to do the building. He's like, yeah, I've got a lucky car. Fucking hell, no, he broke down the way. I'd have been fucked. We were going to a tour show the other day and some fella was just broke down in the middle lane of the M6. <sighs> and it was just <sighs> fucking carnage for... A, like, he was just in the middle lane of the M6 with his hazards on. 
Just to say, he fell and just sat there like that. And it die. took us about 25 minutes to get to him. And then we drove past. And as we drove past, he's just like watching all the cars go past. And he's just like, he stayed in the car. What are you going to do? What's he meant to do? Get run over. Hang on. Yeah, you probably have to get to the hard You need to though, get yeah. the fuck out of the car. Like, well, let's hope everyone works what, it what, out. Past the fast lane. No. Go. If you if you get stuck in the middle, don't get me wrong. That is not going to be e easy. If you break down and you're like, oh my God, the car stopped. But you can't just stay in going, I'm safer in here. Shut, it shut was the M6 on a Friday. No, I know. On but half term. How yeah, fast point? does your car have to break down, though, for you to not yeah. to be able to like, like How quick? Like, I'm an optimist. Just sh keep going. Surely oh. you can feel it going down. You go, like, there's no engine coming. I'm going to get just no, indicating go. Not that guy. Maybe there'll be a hill. I'll <laughs> use the. And it, I'd, I'd have to get out. And I know, I know what you mean. It's dangerous. People but it feels died, way more dangerous. Staying in. But how are you getting out? So you, what are you doing? So you're you in the middle lane. So fast. You're middle. The, you're Is in the middle lane. lane. Yeah. By the way, the lanes aren't so tight that you're like open. If you can get out a little bit, in and fact, surely if there's loads of traffic building up, it's not going very fast. No, it's going there's a build up him. back there, isn't there? Because everyone's like going round him. Yeah, but at the point of him. That you're not going fast then. No one's as stopping as for this gun to like M6, I'd be left <laughs> not bad. And he's having right. a worst day. So I'm telling you right now, it was impossible yeah. for him to do what you're saying. He had to stay in his car. But like he's fucked it by just get breaking down in the middle lane. Yeah. yeah. Like an absolute maverick. Like, no, I didn't this doesn't turn. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get across <laughs> trying to get across for, that's hard. No, well, you, get, you, you, you go across two one. lanes. If you get oh, out of the car, if you yeah. get out of car, like you, you and you're, you've got one lane. You've got Is the, this in the you've, daytime? You've got the driving yeah. lane. Right. You've got the driving lane. To on go. Friday. Right, you're okay. telling me that if you got out and started waving someone and be like, flag that, and then you, are, you have to make two and a half yards, three yards. <laughs> they're, they're literally doing 98 <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to run you over on principle, lads. <laughs> it's rush hour. <laughs> in my truck. <laughs> I'm, I'm wiping people off here, mate. Come on. I can't stop. I'm giving out jobs. He, he could not have got to safety. I oh. could have got to safety. No, you couldn't. I've got Twitch. He might still be there. You got he literally could be. I honestly think the AA, you're like, that's on you, mate. I'm not yeah. going to get you there. <laughs> oh. how, could, how could we possibly get to you? Here's one. So the love on Goth phones. On Apple, it goes, oh, there's a blockage up ahead. And it says, is it still there? Yes or no? Yeah. And I'll press <laughs> yes, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, I it, it, exactly could, the same it could thing. be so, it could be not a car. It's like, like yeah, it's still here. Yeah. Yeah. Every Hang on. So on ways it goes. Hey, there's police there. Do you do the opposite? I don't get police. I just get the. Is All right. On ways it goes. Hey, there's yeah, police. Yeah. And it goes. Are the police still there? Do you go? Nah, nah, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I put yes. If I have yes. Yeah. Still, oh, fuck the air, mate. <laughs> I don't press fire either. Is. is it still going on? Yes, it is. <laughs> I've got another driving pet peeve that's been annoying me recently. When the person in front of you lets someone go, that that's fine. But it's then when that results in you missing Not the, lights. the light. I will drive through the red light. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. Someone who's who like, you know, if you're at a junction and someone lets someone go, yeah. fair enough. If there's been a bit of traffic yeah, and you yeah. stopped and then you won't let someone out for the junction. Do you know what will make me genuinely homicidal? And I think might be the reason I end up going to prison for there's life. There's nothing behind you. No. Not even that is when you're on like a main road, right? And someone comes to a junction with it, and we are, we haven't stopped, but the car in front of me just really nicely and politely for that person stops for no other reason and goes, "Go on, mate." So it's that's bad driving, yeah. terrible driving. Uh, it will make me like honestly, if I had, if if we had guns in this country, if I had a shotgun in my car, <laughs> so many people would be dead. And you know what's the worst? <laughs> the worst about that is when there isn't another car for ages behind you, and you're like, yeah. you. If Who's we'd have for? just gone, yeah. if we'd have just kept going, it's so dangerous. If doing someone that, let like, someone out, and then them two cars go through the red light, I will yeah. just go. Me too. Also, when that's someone a bad, like, that's a shitty way to get three points in it. I make sure I can check the cameras and stuff. Uh, also, when someone lets <laughs> two people out, you ever had that? <laughs> yeah. When someone lets oh, two Lord, people just sit on the road for whatever day. Eh? I'm having a good day. You let oh, well. one person out and then you move. Are you a letter outer though? Yeah. Turn yeah. on the mood. One. Yeah, but you know, one. if you're in a good one. mood. And then one. if the second person comes, you're you like, go, sorry, mate, you can fuck? wait there for, until the, the, it's a zip. For the rest of time for all I care. It's not one car, one car. It's a zip. It's a fucking. No, it isn't. It's one car, three. Be cool. 
I'm not letting one, one and then one. Be, 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 no, it's one. No, it's one. No, it's one more. <laughs> it's the oh, person in front of me lets someone out. I might fuck letting the next person out. I'm already one back. <laughs> fuck off. Oh, some people will sneak it though, won't they? If you let one, yeah. In, but the next yeah, person I'll, in there, I'll, 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 I'll crash into you. I'll lose both of our no claims <laughs> bonuses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Max, Max Benson says, "When some as a dri on a driving one, when some thunder cunt drives into a petrol station the wrong way, so he's the only car facing that way and fucks up the queue." Done it. Yeah, I've never done that, but I've seen it. It's it's so you, annoying. But whatever. It depends if they've got long hoses, then you can you can just pull it round, can't what, you? But what? No, no. Oh, it drives in. Whatever drives side in the, the petrol station oh, is yeah. on, the 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 cars are meant to fill the the first entrance. Do you know Do you know what I mean? If you're driving in and out. If you are on the other side of the road, the first entrance, not the way you come in. You go to the second one because that's the way it's meant to go. Yeah. Otherwise, you fuck everything up. If you've got two cars at, in the petrol station, one's facing one way, one's facing the other. What is happening there? There can't, there can't be a queue because someone's gone. Oh, well, who's in the wrong? The person who's in the wrong, you, it's the side of the road that you come in on. Yes. Right, but it depends. No, it doesn't depend. Because no, you're having to cross. It a doesn't lane. depend. If yeah. you're crossing a lane, you need to come round and back, not in. You've driven across a lane into the wrong way. Yeah, so if you're on the other side of the road to the petrol station, that first entrance, which you is like, that's my, that's the first, entrance, isn't that's the second. You need to go to the far one <laughs> to come round. There's Are a you following this? Yeah, biggest company. Petrol stations yeah, have driven an the entrance exit. and an exit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, his problem is people driving into the exit. But sometimes it's not, it's not shown as an exit. It's just common sense. Right. Biggest comp move is people who park when there's four. People park in the first one. The one in front moves, and then they go shopping. But you can't move your car. You can't have two people on the same pump anyway. What do you mean? Yeah, one. No, there's there's pump, 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 pump. There's someone in front, so they go behind them and fill a car. Yeah. That person drives oh, off, yeah. and then you're behind them, but they then go fucking shopping. You yeah, wait behind them. It, yeah, this but is. What a... are they meant to do? Get your petrol and then park up in the shopping. You know, no, no, you're no, not no meant one to do, do that. that. Why? I've done because... it. I've done it, and they've gone. You... You because do that. some yeah, you're the not. The person meant to. can't use the pump until you've paid for the pump. So you anyway. walk in and go to M and S, and everyone has to just fucking wait. Yeah, yeah. Wow, what yeah. the fuck? It is, it is annoying. Yeah, but that's annoying. Big, but there's you know no alternative. You're shopping for. I've gone in, I, I've gone in recently and gone. Excuse me, can you move your car while she's doing an M and S shop? When there's a queue of three behind you, she's like, why? I'm like, because you're in the first pump, and she had to go. Yeah, that's you being what a What time are you going though? It's too, you're too busy. She's no. doing a shop. This is why he likes She's roller coasters. Shoes. It's more ordered. It's a shop, though. She can't the be doing that big there, of a shop. Isn't it? She, she had a basket in uh, M&S. Yeah, yeah, but how big is that? That's, yeah, right, okay. So is she not allowed to if get she petrol knows and stuff at the same for. time? Yeah, but pay for your petrol, then move your car. Oh, so you want us to go in, oh, pay for bad. the petrol, go back out, get, get in the out car, the way. park it up, and then go, get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, she's buying her fucking olives, isn't she? I'll just go on my phone for a bit. Yeah, no, no, that's that's fine. But she, it depends how, how how long she thinks she's going to be in about there for. Ten minutes. Carl, you need to she's go in, to a purist petrol station she's in M &S. where it's literally fags, fucking national lottery, yeah. huh. cigarettes, <laughs> and it's cigarettes. Sometimes I forget what podcast I'm on. <laughs> well, the new ones with no people is just pump, pay and yeah, pump. Yeah, the just future. So. Do you pay a pump? No. Not Fuck very that. I don't believe it. Yeah, of course. Fuck that. People think. No, fraud. <laughs> what? You end up paying for everyone. Nah. What? Fraud? Nah, don't do pay for Oh, them. I love it. Like, no, Seven everyone's... grand to pay for everyone. Someone's trying to mug don't me do off. No. I, want to, I, I had want... one experience where I thought, I don't, hang on, I don't know what's going on here. I pay cash to a woman up. called been Linda. been noughts, all this. No, pay a cashier or I'll find another one. I only came here for the fags. <laughs> <laughs> How many petrol stations do you, do you use? One. I've got one petty station. Back yeah, yeah, I use Tesco because of the club card, but I don't really see any profit from it, but like... No man's. I only use that one. Multiple. Do you hear about the fella who got Even himself a cool million more. pounds from I think it was like Eddie Stobart or something? He got what? So this fella was a truck driver for some company, right? And uh, obviously he's just fucking day to day. He's like, Blanking he's people. just driving around, fucking. Took <laughs> 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 the indicators on the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> this wheel's just getting doing big. His shit. <laughs> and uh, he goes into the head office one day and he's like, I can save this company like twenty mil a year. It's like a really big, like, haulage company. And he's like, but I'm not telling you how unless you give me a million quid. He's like, if I, if this, if I can prove to you that it'll save you all this dough, yeah. I want a million pounds and I'm retiring. And they were like, ah. Is that all he wanted? It's all he wanted. Because he yeah, felt like that was like, they're not going to say no. Do you know what I mean? Right. 
So he goes, not worth a <laughs> million. He goes, I'll tell not you. Not though, is it in this climate? Go on. He, he goes, I'll, I'll tell you, and then you just have to like sort out. So they're, they're intrigued, and they're like, go on. So they fucking get a contract signed. I feel like I'm right? Go on. And he goes, uh, you should only allow the drivers to fill up at Sainsbury's. He goes, I've, I've been driving around the country for years. They're always, like, on average, the cheapest. And we're allowed to just fill the petrol up anywhere. So I'm going to fucking Shell and BP and that. And it's always, like, 20 pence cheaper at, like, the Sainsbury's. It's always cheaper. We're just, like, filling the up. The HGVs it. fill up. Just whatever, like he, they he have own lane, truck they? driver, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So they, they went silent, and he got a million quid and retired. And, so and, and they changed his, their policy. His million pound idea was Just, to go where the fuel was cheaper, literally. But it worked. And this haulage company I hadn't thought of that. No, right. Man. Fucking good, that in it, man. If you just hey Eddie, sharp thinking. It's mad, that. Seems me. <laughs> Oh, mad stuff. Wait till we go to Costco. Sainsbury's was the cheapest. Definitely got the mill first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before they even give them the idea. Trust yeah, it sounds like this company might have done. There's a million pounds. <laughs> There's a million quid. Yeah, There's a million pounds. And you sh- tell us the- within the week. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> a million quid. Tell us your idea, John. Uh, just fill up at Sainsbury's. Make that company policy. John, that's already company policy. Ah, I fucked it, mate. Anyway, come here. <laughs> What? Air in the tyres? There's another million. These have been making a flappy sound and fucking go. They don't go fast. What? Roads? You're fu- fucking genius. We've been driving these fucking articulated lorry in fields. That's the crow flies. Jesus. Another million. Another million. I'll have another fucking million. What food? As an energy source for humans? You're fucking mad. Um, another pet peeve. <laughs> That's how you make your million, Finn. You come up with a way to make this better. Yeah. Unimprovable, this, eh? Mm. Just, we'll just get petrol from Sainsbury's. Yeah. <laughs> Jared says, pet peeve, people who claim that they can't sit facing backwards on trains, like, just grow the fuck up. Carl, I Carl can't, can't do it. I, I can't. Really Pathetic. Tough, yeah. I'll, no, I'll I can, throw up. Do you know what? I can do it if I don't notice. <laughs> Isn't that mad? What? No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. If I get on and say I'm with Adam and he goes, oh, do you want to sit? Because he'll say that, you want, and I'll go, yeah, next one. But if I get on, it's like, oh, so that's the only seat, and I'm not thinking about it. I'll get an hour, and I'll be like, oh, fuck, I'm going backwards. And I'll... I'll, I'll tell you this. I've been a lot of places with you over the last four years. We've been some wonderful places, and I've enjoyed my time away together. You're not like a, a low... Like there's a lot of energy goes into where you sit and where you're Carl positioned. Carl in an airport acts like there's been a fucking terrorist announcement when they say the plane's more than... I've never seen anything like it. Right. He's like, we've got to go! Got, got to go. The plane is gonna leave, and I, I want like, my now fucking, I take I want me bag to be above oh. my seat because when everyone stands up, don't even land, and goes whoa, and stands <laughs> instantly up because I want to get off first, and then my my bag's forty five yards down the car. Plane. Will right. elbow a nun yeah. out of the. And so I will run off you. the plane, and I will overtake everybody to get to passport control first. So you want to be on the plane first? I don't care about that. I just want the real estate of the bag above me. Right. That's important. On a train, it's not like, oh, everyone sit down. Carl's not asked. He's <laughs> always asked. He will have a favorite. He'll be like, shot cars. He's always shouting shotgun. It's not, he's not a laid back. I've got my journeyman. shoes off right now. I like to be comfortable. And if I can control the comfort, I will. Soz. No, it's, I'm not, it's not a criticism. <laughs> it is just an observation. You are very pernickety about where and how and. Yeah, I don't want to be sitting in the middle on a plane. I'd rather just not fly. Have you had like a challenge? Have you, have you, is your life quite easy? Yeah. I get to mm. complain about pointless things. I remember yeah. when we were going to Amsterdam and uh, did we fly from Manchester for that? Yeah. Yeah. So we're in Manchester and they went, no, flight 2132 to Amsterdam. It's now ready for boarding. And I went, I'm just going to get a burger here from, it's like Eddie Rockets or something like the oh, Archie's. Archie's, Archie's, Archie's in yeah. the airport. Jimmy and Nibbles. Carl was like, whoa, 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 the, the, the plane's boarding. And I was like, it doesn't take off for 40 minutes. And he's like, we've got to go. You can't be getting a burger now. You can't be doing this. I've and I was like, the plane. It's fucking stupid. They will wait until a second before takeoff to make sure everyone who's checked in is on the plane. They'll shout you over the tunnel. I know, but where's his bag? That's I just, the thing. I it? just never, I mean, it's on my back. I don't check bags. No, 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 I mean, w- once you get on the plane, if everyone's already on, where's your bag? That's exactly, worrying that's it. probably got off to the gym. Also, he has 80 kilogram backpacks to think about because <laughs> he's not playing Are by you the ever late? Uh, yeah, but I despise people who are late. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm always late. Like, I just I, buy you, yeah. so. Don't yeah. be late. Yeah, yeah, I might yeah, be, yeah. but you're not. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry that I was late today, but yeah. like, yes, so like, many things going to being late, though. There was someone coming to me house yesterday, and he was 15 minutes late, and I was like, yeah. I'm dressed. 
Mm-hmm. Or are you up? Because I want to go out. I was waiting to go out. I was like, you're wasting my day now. I haven't got me cock house here. I've dressed for you. <laughs> no, but I've dressed waiting to go. And he was late. I was like, you're now wasting my day. I'm never, ever, ever late for something you can't be late for. Right. Like what? Like a plane. Or a re- like in my head, even a restaurant. Like if I've booked for seven, I am there at like 6.55. Yeah. I'm not going to be late for the restaurant. And it'll dra- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like <laughs> yeah, yeah. when we're in here... We're like, yeah. right, everyone in at half 10. We're starting at 11. Any time between half 10 and quarter you, past 11 to me is sound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, if I had a gun and I was only able to use it on one type of person, yeah. it'd be people who were late for footy. Right, okay. Shoot them in yeah. the back of the head. Play in, side play not watching. You'll wait, it's seven yeah. o'clock and the, someone isn't there. As they turn up, you shoot them in the back of the head. Yeah. Remember like Joe used to be and he lived over the road from Carolina? Fuck me. So that we used to play with, he lived he could 100, see the pitch. Y- 100 yards. And he was I late see that, I, that's easier to be late to than it's to the really proximity hour, paradox. Yeah. It's how I was always late to this when I lived in town because in your head, you, you live yeah. in the studio. So you just roll out of bed and you're in. People who were late for footy are, that's my pet peeve. Lad, do turn up late to footy. I'm here. This is my excitement for the week, for the hour. Yeah. And you're, you just decided to be late. I'm right. never late for anything important ever. Paul Lincoln says, mm. pet peeve, hotels that claim you're getting a double bed. When in fact it's just two singles pushed together, yours end up falling down the middle in the night. I yeah. hate that. Fuck you. With a passion. Yeah, that is. I it's mean, happened to me a few times recently. It's getting. Really I should be annoying. on the website because that is a decision. That is a decision I should be allowed to make as a consumer. Am I okay with that? It's it's a double room. There's two single beds pushed together. Well, I'm not saying you stupid hotel. Go fuck yourselves. I'm going down the road paying an extra twenty quid and actually getting a double bed. You know, like an adult human man. Yeah, agreed. If that is 100%. annoying. If. I- I don't mind a single. It doesn't like. I'd rather have one single me. than yeah. two singles pushed together. Yeah, that's annoying. I don't. I don't agree with that. I no, guess. single bed's impossible. Yeah, I can't. that Do one, think? that crack in the middle. You can't just, just say you sleep in a single bed now. I feel awful in a single bed. But I don't. I don't move in the night because then I'll fall in the middle. You don't strike right. me as someone that tosses and turns. No, I you're sleep, very still, sleep like a vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. on know. your back. Do you? I'm. I don't. Do anything in the night, like I'm not a snot. He's not juggling. <laughs> oh, he's the best. He's the best roommate ever. I don't know. Is he? He's just yeah. so clean and everything's you fine. Just, and you it. just hear whimpering. Adam's a yeah. mover. I move and talk oh, and sh- spit bars and everything. Yeah, he's a yeah. mover. He's and doing battle raps in his sleep. You'll always see his back as well. No matter where he, he, his back will be on show because he gets to. He likes. He's, he's like me. He's duvet off in between legs. No matter what is it, you'll see his back. At so he's there spitting yeah, even bars. Even if I'm facing you, you can see me back, really? Yeah. Shoulders going. Yeah, his back's always visible. That sounds really pleasant to, to share like a room if with. Like, so, if I sleep, like, I'm sort of... Oh, where oh, you here going? we go, here we go. Like, oh, can't, Adam, we can't hear you. What? We can see him, so right. Adam's... So on, on the Adam's audio. lay on the floor. Yeah, can't, you can always see I, his Adam's back. Adam's in the, in the fetal position yeah. in and the middle of the room. And then you'll flip, and you'll put your leg over the duvet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. His back's always on show. Okay, you feeling all right? <laughs> yeah. How do you sleep? I'm a mo- I, I, How do uh, you sleep at night, Carl? <laughs> you can actually watch me sleeping on a special, which is fucking weird. In the Ghost on Two, there was a, a time lapse of me sleeping, so I can actually see me. It's weird. I sleep on my side. Because right. I've got because my nose, I can't sleep on my back. Oh. Sleeping on your front is just psychopathic. Mm. I sleep on my front most of the time now. Do you, yeah. Simon, what, what, why are you so intrigued? What, what's your no, te- so, technique? I uh, often drunk. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just end up sort of on the couch, sort of on my sides, on my arms, and I wake up. Can you and... sleep on, like, my, my issue is sleeping on any sort of transport. I can't do it. No matter what, like, planes, trains, yeah, I no, can't I, I, sleep. No. What about, like, one of those bed frames that's shaped like a Ferrari? Do you can sleep on one of them? A bed? Yeah. I reckon I could sleep in a bed, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just checking. So what about know? a broken down car in the middle of the M6? <laughs> no, if he was asleep, he's taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do a have a word and then fake it off? It's time to have a word with that. Oh, yeah. You're the football, Simon. Surprisingly. I am, I am but, I, but I can't play because I break can't I'm Snap. I've got no strength in my legs anymore. Simon is Call better, Mr. Than, Glass. better than football than you think. No, I've heard, I know he's good at football. Yeah, he's really yeah. good at football, yeah. People keep telling me, oh, Stephen Glass, though, mate. Yeah. I got asked to play in it. You doing that? Char- Some guy asked me to play in a fucking charity game in July. I said, I can't do it. Oh, I know it was. What kind of injuries played, did you get? I played last year at Goodison. No, it's it, not that what? one. No, it's a it Marine. <laughs> um, oh, I think you just asked me. Leg breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I got breaks? Br- Your leg? I got my knee, knee, knee operated on when I was like 18, 19 for like stem cells. 
and then that took 18 months to recover from and then all the muscle went in my right leg didn't do the rehab properly because why would you when you can walk again so i was just like all right sam whatever and the rehab shit anyway isn't it and it just like goes go a sports or once every fortnight and put a lazy band around your foot and pull it towards you. Like, this isn't going to get I've me I've hurt my bro. shoulder and my brother's a physio. He keeps going, do this. I'm like, yeah. You and I go and see him, like, my shoulder's killing me. Yeah. He goes, have you done them things? I'm like, no. Exactly, yeah, because you go, like, I'm not doing it. I'd rather just get better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, you fit, you've evaporated now. Why is it not better? Yeah. So you need to build the muscle. Anyway, so the muscle went. And then I went and played at the pits and second game back and five aside. My leg just snapped and I was running and it went <laughs> and I thought my ACL had gone or something in my knee and I went, oh, for fuck's sake. And then I just looked down and I was like, I see my leg, my foot was the other way and oh. I just went, oh my God. And then I just was like lying. What? How did it break? Just weak. Just My leg was just weak. So, and oh I've, 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 yeah, I've, you shouldn't play five aside. I've weak fractured leg. my ankle like three, four times, and it's got like a hairline fracture. So my ankle's always weak. Oh my God, I've just got a pain so then, in the arsehole. Like so McGregor, then, like McGregor. Yeah, like that. And then I turned around, see, it thought me like my knee had gone, because that's where it had just been operated, and then my leg was just that way. And I was like, fuck, that's a proper break and dislocation. And so I was lying there waiting for the ambulance. But the people who were meant to be on next, <laughs> obviously they're fuming, because they're thinking, fuck's sake. I'd be fuming. Generally. We're into our time. So all I'm, I'm lying there with my leg that way, think, and all I'm hearing is just these balls just banging into the side from people who want to start their games. I was like, and people like, can you, can you not blast the ball around? Like his, his legs hanging off here. And then I was just, but then the, the, the ambulance came pretty quick, cut my boots off and then give me the gas and air, went back into, once they got me to the hospital, they, they, they go on, get a lot of this in because we're going to have to get your foot aligned back. <laughs> so I'm lying there foot's up and then they're like right keep more you're gonna need more you're gonna need more and then they just went right you're gonna feel a bit of a grind now so and then they went and i was like oh and then they were just like Ugh. why have you told you that i'd rather you just did it I, and then they set it so then i had to then wait for the operation the next night but yeah it was it was fucking wasn't nice how long ago was that well how long ago was that probably about 10 years ago oh right okay i thought it was much more oh no 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 that's when i went oh this isn't worth it anymore Fucking playing five aside. After I that. can't listen to shit like that, you know. No, it's disgusting. It was absolutely awful. I'm sort of glad I'm going deaf. I hate leg breaks. I won't watch leg breaks or anything no, like that. You know, people love horrible. watching that stuff. No, nope. oh, the Not gym fails where they're like doing the leg I never press have... and the, the leg oh, goes the other way. They lock the leg and then it pushes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite. Like, I like to see thing and I want to know like thing, but then the only thing I'm never interested in is seeing somebody's body get the fucking head. bent. I got, I don't. There's not one bit of morbid curiosity. I have about a leg break. Something else, yeah, but not that. Um, uh, last, ha uh, have a word and then we're out. Oh, Helen sorry, yeah. says, Lids, I need you to have a word with my brother Craig. I was eating shepherd's pie the other week when I got in, opened the fridge afterwards, and there was a dish in tinfoil that I thought was just extra shepherd's pie. Opened it up, and it was a dead mouse defrosting for Craig's pet snake. Since then, he's been leaving all sorts of mice and rodents next to the Cathedral City cheddar in the fridge. It's out of order. <laughs> Have a word with him. That's from Helen. Where'd you put yours? Who lives with a you know a really reasonable snake enjoyer? Where'd you keep snake where'd you, enjoyer? Where'd you keep your snake? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the shop. <laughs> I can't hear anymore. This is gone. You're gonna. I know to... you're looking like you. You're I looking like you're bothered. I, I'm going deaf. Yeah. Yeah. You look uncomfortable. You look. You haven't I'm, looked right all I day. Can't. Can't just go to the room, gonna have to have a medical yeah. timeout. We we'll just have to call. Okay, keep your mice out the fridge, lad. And that's this week's podcast done, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Dan, tell them what happened. Tell them why your ears fucked. Or you're that fucked. What? Tell them what's going on. You did tell them in the oh, first did you, did you mention yeah. it? Yeah. A snake got in there. <laughs> <laughs> Someone shouts that I'm for stealing his bevies. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. oh dear. Don't, don't keep dead mice in the fridge. Bang out of order. You're a weirdo. Simon, oh. uh, tell everyone about your podcast and your social media. Yes, uh, another one podcast. So that's me and uh, Robert Thomas, uh, who you are all friends with. Um, we do that uh, in Netherton Community Centre. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, we're moving to a new studio now. Uh, but yeah, listen to that. Uh, follow on Instagram, sign up to the Patreon, because you know you've got plenty of money to, to do that with. Um, <laughs> and uh, me on social, at Simon Wozniak Comedy on Instagram. This gets me to... 10,000. What do you want? I'm on five and a half. Okay, I reckon it'll get you to seven. Seven, not 10. 
I don't think it's going to get stretch. you. Th- uh, if you're on, I thought you lot can tell these anything and they'll do it. No. <laughs> Within reason. If you're on TikTok, at Dan Surely has a podcast. Surely there's three and a half, four and a half of you listening to this now. We'll see. Hey, see. go and drop Simon a go. follow. Be, be give a part him a, of the Give him a follow. Come on. Uh, on, t- on TikTok, uh, my TikTok is going really well so far. At, has, uh, at Dan has a podcast on the talk. I'm starting to post regularly. We've got a tune uh, quickly. This is a. I'm on tour as well. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Adam Road of Code UK. Dan's fucked. Go on, tell us about this show. So, 10th of, po- uh, 10th of sorry, 22nd of April, £10 patrons. You're getting the new poster. Sign up or upgrade because it's worth it. Uh, it's a Blackpool based band called Circus, and this is their debut single. There's some young lads, and this is called Talk. We are Circus, and this <laughs> is Talk. What? Huh? 